Damn, Gary, some serious gourmet sh What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier. Mm. 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 That mm. intro just never disappoints. I love it so much. It's so Every damn time. good. I love it. <laughs> yep, I agree. Perry Chan Muller, well done. You guys. Garrett, did you get enough sleep? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> it's all right. I got to start out. Uh, for one, I'm going to remove all credit for editors for my... Uh, <laughs> my videos from now on i'm gonna say it's all me dude no i was almost in the video where you go like this is quarter black power in the editing room i was almost like hey gary could i plug my and just cut <laughs> off right there and i was like no I'm good. you know what if i thought enough people preserve would the get flow. it the preserve yeah me the too flow. i was like i don't know if enough people would get it quarter black <laughs> magic that's what it was quarter black magic that editing job guys you have no idea it was a longer video than we normally do and I dumped a bunch on him like last night at nine. And he's like, dude, I'm not gonna be able to get this done. I'm like, all right, you know, that's fine. Just use the extra time. That's cool. Release it Monday. Then like I wake up this morning and it's done. I'm like, what the hell? So I'm watching it in the gym. And you know, it's, I don't mean to crack up at my own jokes. I'm not, I'm cracking up <laughs> at, at Garrett's clips that I have not seen. So I'm seeing him for the first time and I'm fucking busting up in the gym, dude. And I got a guy right next to me thinking I'm just <laughs> he's crazy. Like no, you're just care. working on your abs, obviously. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, great job, dude. Like, thank you. Thank you. Freaking my pleasure. masterful job. So, Quarter Black Air, give it up. Quarter Black Magic. Go watch the video if you have it later, after the stream. <clears throat> after the stream. Yeah, after the stream. After the stream. Thank God I never have to watch the Marvels again. We can talk about something fun, like elongated skulls. This is one oh, yeah. of my favorite subjects and one of my favorite people on the internet is Brian Forster. Brian Forster's a crack up. He's like, uh, if he's watching, which he probably isn't, or maybe you never know, don't Hi. take this the wrong way. Brian Forster has the best weaponized autism I've ever seen. He's he's funny and he's like into the subject. He's been covering it for years. So he is the expert on it. And it's just something that never gets brought up by archaeology because they go, oh, it's just cradle head boring, boarding. That, that's all it is. Well, it's for one, why? Is it cradle headboarding? What are they trying to emulate? And it turns out some of these skulls aren't cradle headboarding. There's something else. And there's Probably. some weird DNA involved. So we're going to talk about it. You know, Brian's based in Peru, uh, Paracas, Peru. There's the Paracas people that he talks about a lot. And he doesn't get super woo-woo. He, he, he thinks that there is a very logical, historical reason that those elongated skull, skulls are in Peru and in other parts. They're all over the world, by the way. All over the world. There's still there's still tribes that practice it today, the cradle head boarding, but Egypt had it. Mm -hmm. And uh places yeah, it's all over Africa. Places kind of close to Adam, a little bit close closer than us for sure. 
Yep. Yeah. And uh, Black sea. The Black sea. we're going to get into that. I'm going to discuss a Watchers. I don't know if you guys ever heard of the Watchers series, but some of the chat might. Uh, it's by L.A. Mar Marzulli, who's uh, a Christian guy. He comes from a Christian perspective, and he's, he's like into UFOs. He's into hunting the Nephilim. He comes from a Christian perspective, but he doesn't really beat you over the head with it at all in his documentaries, and they're really well put together. There's one particular that's a brilliant and it's watchers six the cosmic war and this is the one with brian forrester and all the elongated skulls in it you can rent it on amazon prime um highly recommend this one and we're going to look at just some images from it because uh there's there's a part in it that just, will just blow you away that there's but but we'll wait for that hi garrett hey man uh i'm ready to get into it i haven't got to do too much research on it i watched some of the brian forrester videos um, but they, he didn't do a lot of explaining, explaining, explaining. <laughs> Are you Can you tell you he's please? tired guys? He's tired. Can you tell? No, this is just general retarded Garrett. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> he didn't do a lot of explaining of what it was. Uh, he was just kind of ex showing off some of the elongated skull. So I'd like to hear, I'm going to absorb all of this elongated skull information. And I want to, I want to freaking watch this LA Marzulli, this entire series. Cause it sounds really cool. Like to come at it from that perspective and not be kind of beat you over the head with his beliefs, but just kind of like, here's my perspective and this is what I kind of think about it. What do you think about it? I like that kind of perspective. You can buy the whole series on DVD. I think it's like 60 bucks. It's still available out okay. there. I have it on physical media myself. Mm. I got uh, that. I got the first uh, 13 seasons of Ancient Aliens. Love that stuff, man. Watch it all the time. Um, but, uh, Adam, what did you think of this subject, man? Well, I fell down this rabbit hole uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago now. I, I don't remember what, I think you might have posted something, uh, and I just kind of was like, that's a cool subject. Like, what can I learn about it? And I, I found Brian Forrester's channel and I watched so much stuff and I found like it my, through my digging, I then found that the the source of these elongated skulls might be egypt and i love egypt i love egyptian everything and it, and it could go back to akhenaten who is my favorite uh pharaoh of of egyptian pharaohs i i just i love that era of like the the start of amarna and it turns out that that might have been one of the sources of this royalty bloodline um, of these elongated skulls and i just I I love it. I love this, and I learned even more today when I finally found. Because um, I wanted to hear Brian Forrester basically just break down everything, and he had this. He has this awesome just lecture, and he just kind of goes through all of it, and connects all these dots, and then brings it all the way from Peru, which is where they've mostly been discovered, or at least that's where he's finding a lot. And I don't want to like say too much because we're obviously going to get into it, but. Uh, man, was that a good rabbit hole, and I'm excited to finally talk about it because I've been, I've been uh, very interested in the subject. It's very cool, but I do want to say I am excited about something else that came in the mail. Yeah, Ooh. baby, oh, hardcover. Is that hardcover? Dang. It's not. It's not hardcover. No, uh, that was a lot more beautiful. expensive. Um, but it's a. Th this thing is a freaking juicer. There's That's a, a reader this... copy right there. <laughs> Yo, it's. We should do an episode awesome, on that after we read it all. All of us. Yeah. Have you gotten it take. too? Uh, well, I got the audio book. I know got it. Oh, okay. I got the audio book as well. Yeah. So cool. maybe we can make a plan. For I would that. like Graham, to good. physically Graham read it though. Info. Graham reads his later audio books, but yeah, it's it's good to physically read that one. Yeah, I just wanted it also. And there's so much, like, information. It's not like telling stories. It's like just no. data. Data, all sorts of cool different data. At least that's what I'm getting so far out of it. And it's uh, The only thing Graham will talk it. about, his wife taking pictures. Right. And, like, how, you know, like, hey, wherever we kind of go everywhere together. But he doesn't, like, get bogged down in the trip or training for uh, scuba diving or anything. He gets just, it's all data. It's great. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff I love. Yeah, it's awesome. Hi, X-Ray girl. Hi, Carrie. Oh, <laughs> I always love hearing that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this <laughs> this topic it has been extremely interesting for me, obviously, because of the X-Ray background. 
I just wish there were, I wish there was more x-rays and CT scans. Just looking at the actual skull is one thing, but I want to see like the difference between like mm. the, the bones and the relationship. Cause it's so interesting just seeing the difference between the two skulls, like a human skull and a Paracas skull. Like it's insane. Yeah. That very different. They're so close, closely similar, but they're vastly different. And I, I would love to see even just like the bones of the Paracas. There, there's none that I've seen. It's usually just the mummified corpses. So maybe one day they'll release that. But I'm excited to talk about the skulls and what we've learned. It sounds like Adam has done a lot more research than probably. He was dropping links in the yeah <laughs> in our uh, Discord. Like, nonstop. there's a great. there's a few good articles that I posted too that we could read from. That yeah, are, sure. Yeah, yeah let's cool. bring them up. I think that's a good uh, idea. Sure, uh, for sure. I could, I could prepare a couple things. We could. Uh, elongated skulls been around for a long time. Again, cradle head boarding is absolutely a thing. Why did they do this? Uh, my theory it's to emulate something emulate royalty emulate uh uh possibly a let's just go right there an atlantean in quotes bloodline yep like a a mother civilization bloodline uh hey think of it like this you fans of lord of the rings out there you think fans of lord of the rings numenor numenor the line of kings you know the men of the west the line of kings their yep. island sunk you know, and uh, they slowly just kind of died out. Uh, and uh, that's that's definitely taken from mythology. That's the part that's taken from the Bible. It's taken from mythology. Uh, think of it kind of that way. Um, one of Graham's theories is, and I agree, is that uh, Egypt is a legacy civilization. It's not one that just popped up out of nowhere. It, it came from, so same with Greece. Um, and that's even, what... That's what they say. That's what they've said themselves in Egypt. The Kemet. The, the Kemet. Those, There's a civilization Hades. before. Yeah. So that I, that's because you don't hear a ton of speculation from from a lot of the people we like openly outside of conferences because they're just they're fighting up against the system and they don't want to get bogged down in arguments all the time. And it's like, you know, we'll save the speculation for later. Let's just present evidence, right? But you certainly hear it from them once in a while. Like, oh, yeah. I definitely think Atlantis existed in some form or another. And, uh, you know, places like Gobekli Tepe were uh, a place where they basically a, tr a, tr a transition, well, not a transition, but it's a preservation of a civilization that was destroyed and helped kind of restart it and there's a bunch of legends of people who came from a, multiple different countries people coming from the sea and helping them you know uh, learn about al uh, agriculture and other things and science and stuff and writing um animal I husbandry animal husbandry which sounds weird but it's not sounds weird. really weird <laughs> just, just taking care weird. of animals and domesticating them that's right so is that what husbandry is am i taking care of my wife and domesticating her wild wise <laughs> is it there? the other Get way it. around <laughs> good question <laughs> good to ask uh, mrs nerdrotic <laughs> yeah well it's kind of a little both with us we're both feral children <laughs> former feral children um but uh brian forster's the man on this he's absolutely the man on this so uh i'll start out with um Let's see here. Let's just take a look at this. I do. I find right it interesting here. that one of the theories is that this elongated head culture, cr cultural uh, thing seems to have come from Africa, possibly Egyptian of origin. And the Egyptians are where the story of Atlantis came from. So it's like it definitely oh. tracks. Yep. That's like the Egyptians, they knew of this other culture and they're trying to emulate that. So here is one of the Paracas people's uh, skulls that is in Peru. You will notice distinctly that they have red hair. Oh, yeah. And yeah. They have red hair. Um, I guess the prevailing theory in Peru is the people, some people came down from the Andes and they became the Paracas people. 
Uh, and then when they came down from the Andes, they just started cradle headboarding for some reason out of nowhere. And it doesn't really line up. Uh, it doesn't line up. And again, there are skulls that they look at that have that suture. And then there's ones that don't. Which yeah. Well, they have them in really a bizarre. It, it, in, a in a different, different location. Uh, you yeah. can yeah. see on it's this actually, one, it's off so to the side. Humans, humans have them here. Yeah. But then they found that they're actually at the, the like the back side of the skull. Like where his watch is right here in this, which is like the opposite of what humans were that. Uh, I, I forget what that, what is that called, X ray? The, the uh, parietal suture or sagittal yeah, yeah, yeah. suture, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suture. Right. Yeah. Completely different spots. And we're not going to go down the other rabbit hole that, that these skulls and other skulls present tonight, but there's evidence of brain surgery, uh, which yeah, is crazy. He kind of skips over that. I don't really. Yeah. He 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 said that there's evidence that there is, but then doesn't say what it is. That kind of doesn't say. Me. I, like, I've seen that you, before. How do you know that? Like what? I think they found they found some skulls in South America that had chunks of the of their skull taken out, and then it healed back up, which means that they had some kind of surgical removal, or it was you know an accident, and then they were able to heal them. Yeah back Me so, meaning yeah, it was a success or a success yeah it, it they had enough time to heal <laughs> they had enough time to yeah. heal back yeah more accurate <laughs> and live after that <laughs> didn't kill the person <laughs> but some of them aren't just aren't just accidental or maybe somebody hit somebody with a with a brick or something it was right. it was you could see that there were there was a sort. whole cut in the in yeah. the skull it's like multiple thousands and thousands of years ago it's yeah. How could you survive that in a village in the middle of the jungle? <laughs> I don't Very know if you could do that. I'm just saying. Now, <laughs> he also shows successful uh, now. Native Americans, uh, all all in uh, like ancient America, also were doing the same thing with the headboarding. You can see it on the right. Mm -hmm. This yep. image, uh, and then like th this is an actual picture. So you could see like they this woman clearly. They were trying to emulate something, right? And and why? Why is that? My theory is that they presented some godly figure with heads like that. So trying to emulate it means that you're closer to it. But that's just my personal theory. Well, it's it's interesting you should say that because he actually brings up... Let me see if I can find this. <laughs> I'm sure. Bless you. Thank you. And you think about right. the headdresses in Egypt as well. A lot of the headdresses elongate the head. They're very tall, you know, like like the a, a lot of the the statues that they have depicting the pharaohs they have long yeah. headdresses on. So it's almost well, also depicting that's, that, that. That's why he goes right same... to here's Akhenaten, you know, exactly the classic Egyptian, like the big, huge, long hats, mm -hmm. you know, especially the ones that look almost like a like a monk hat. Or not a monk hat, like a pope hat, um, mm -hmm. and there's there's uh, there's a statue. It's like a side shot. I'm trying to find it. So this is the hat I was referring to right here on the yep. in the in the middle there. You know, were they just big tall hats? And why does the pope have a hat different? Like that? <gasps> or were they trying to represent something of a greater intelligence, a former uh, greater intelligence? Right? There's yeah. ah, man. There's a picture of Nefertiti. And it's it's just her face. Well, it's it's a bust of her, and you could see it. It almost looks like an alien, mm -hmm. with the, how how long they make the back of her skull, and it's in, it's incredible. It's like, well, what is this trying to represent? That I think that's the the most intriguing thing. It's like, what? Why would they do this if not to try to emulate something of of a higher power that they like? Think about what uh, people like to um you know describe into walls right big cosmic events things that are are so uh grand to them mm -hmm. the plasma man right i mean yeah. we see that everywhere yeah that design right? These, yeah right these elongated skulls if if it was the kemet the ones who came before the ones that maybe were the atlanteans or uh in some cases um and, and brian forster actually talks about this how uh akhenaten was maybe a descendant of Osiris, like the original god that they claimed to be the the god. Of, well, what well, Osiris was the god of death, I think. But 
um, doesn't matter. He had an elongated skull also. And then through this royal bloodline, Akhenaten was supposed to, and Nefertiti were both supposed to have this. And also, oh. um, um, not, uh, what's what's there? It wasn't his son. It was his nephew, uh, King Tut. Tut King Tut. Tutankhamun. Right? Yeah. Also had an elongated skull. No yep. one really talks about that. I didn't actually know that. And, and I was like, I found that out. I was like, that's crazy. Akhenaten. So had a it was not his son but it was his nephew they think because it wasn't as pronounced although they never found Akhenaten's body I think that's because the priest probably destroyed it because they well, hated him and they always depicted his body not just the head but the body was really the, the statue it was weird. uh it was a weird looking body it, yeah. it was uh, um. almost like it was androgynous mm -hmm. uh, well, they, they so. say that he might have had some sort of like Genetic uh, disorder. Genetic disorder. Yeah, that made him have. A, 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 is he the one who also like changed the gods or something? Like he changed the gods. Well, he, 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 went, he went. He wanted to, to go the... back to the old, old, old. era because the priests yeah. uh, of that time were basically throwing out the weight of the heart. No, you could just buy this little sculpture and you know take this with you into death, and you don't have to be a good human anymore. You don't. You could mm. just kind of be debaucherous. And and society was falling apart, and Akhenaten wanted to get rid of the the royalty. Wanted to make Egypt time. great again, basically. Oh, yeah, he's like the Trump. mega. Yeah, <laughs> mega. that's so true. And and then he started Amarna, and that he brought back art and you know being good, positive humans, mm -hmm. and they basically killed him for it. And I Bad think people don't like that. Akhenaten. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So, but it turns out he was potentially part of this royal bloodline, which is amazing. Like, imagine if we find Akhenaten's tomb one day, right? We've never found it. I don't think we will because I personally think that they destroyed him completely. Yes. Like, yeah. yeah. Just wanted him completely gone. I mean, and he actually shows, let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, right here. This is some of the. Yeah, it was the sun the, god. He wanted to go back to the sun god. The sun god. Yeah. Ra? Aachen. Well, Ra is one of five different names of the sun god. Yes. Um, uh, oh, so here, here is some of the known statues of Akhenaten and Nefertiti, and they were destroyed. Like these are, they, they were, they, anytime you would find them, they were oftentimes defaced and destroyed like this because the priests and the, the royalty at the time wanted to destroy their legacy. Because they didn't want people to rise up again. They they wanted people to follow their rule and whatever they, you know, did, redacted history. Yes, exactly. You know, it's the I mean, and what well, that, are we seeing today? I, I would assume that they would they believe that like if they you mummify them and you put them with all of these trinkets and things that it helps you in the afterlife. Well, they want to get rid of this guy, so they separate him all out, destroy his body. They don't want him mm -hmm. to prosper in the afterlife. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. They right. Just destroy him. Then it, they wouldn't put him to rest. So that was just. Oh, here I, I did find it. Actually, I wanted oh, to good. show you this. This is the statue showing the elongated Nefertiti skull, which is freaking cool. Like that's very um, <laughs> exaggerated. Did you add it, X-ray girl? I got there it. it. Is okay. You got it. <clears throat> So that's that's supposedly Nefertiti. Hmm. Why would they do that? Totally would have, still. Don't did, care did, for skull, skulls <laughs> elongated. Totally would. <laughs> oh Looks like Jada Pinkett Smith a little bit. <laughs> oh God. Never mind. Take it, uh, take take it all back. back. I'm a little. Yeah, I don't want to get entangled in that. So. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what that extra chamber is in the. Ah. Oh uh, <laughs> pyramid. Oh it's a sex oh dungeon. My god. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> oh, so yeah, they're, it, it's funny. clear that they're doing it for like for fashion because I think I'd assume that that is the conventional explanation is that it's a fashionable thing. People, we do a lot of weird things for fashion. Right, we have yeah. the the foot binding in China and what. How come yeah. people aren't still doing this then? Yeah, but fashion why? Changes. Hold them Gary. At a fashion does change. Anymore. <laughs> but where does where does the idea of that what what makes something like that look beautiful to to them or well, to what like, looks a leader. what makes like them think that celebrities? Right, I don't know why, but some people do. 
uh, people like to Taylor higher Swift, than themselves, amazing. right? They want to yeah. present themselves as like we are gods, we are the ones that we were before separate. us. Yes, we. This is how we look. We look like them. So that that's what kind of connects it for me. Is uh, they're but emulating or, these other yeah, to look like they are part the, of them. The, so yeah. they were either emulating or they were part of a a, a royal blood, bloodline, possibly. Mm. Uh, that's what Brian. I is, could see is that actually. That's yeah. what he was. Why he started uh, this lecture talking about Egypt because he wanted to. I, I think he was trying to make this connection of a royal bloodline. And again, when he, go when when go you're ahead. done with this. Go sorry. Uh, watch his lectures. Go go subscribe to Brian's channel, please. And uh, yeah. it's really good, he's, solid work. He's a good, and Brian uh, goes all over actor. the place. He he yeah. doesn't just talk about elongated skulls. He's all about the the megaliths and these ancient sites you know he's he ends up he, you see videos of him going to all the places that i would love to go oh yeah all, he's, but he's all his videos all are places. handheld camera running or or a, a, a now he's got um he's got a drone but uh yeah he, did you see the one he just did one where he goes to some place in peru some out he he really does the out of the way places where you have to drive for three hours and hike for two hours and there's like this insane carving on a rock in the middle of nowhere that looks like a miniature of a city. Like, like who in the hell did this? Oh, yeah. Big chunks of it are broken off so you can tell. Yeah, it's like a model. Like, yeah, it's like in a, a, in a big boulder. It just looks a, like a model of a city. It's, it's very cool. It's nuts. So yeah. either somebody was just really bored and good at carving back then, or that was some kind of art for in a city that's just been destroyed, which is that's what it looks like. It just looks That's like true. the remnants of something that was just completely destroyed. And these are up, up in the mountains, like way up in the mountains. So his stuff is really cool. Let me um, share something briefly, but we'll go back to this, Adam, because yeah. I like, I like, where I, mean, you're going I, have a, I have a lot of different points through this, this lecture that I want to talk <clears> about. I do want to show you this. Um, I don't know how much context it's going to give you, but Brian uh, and, and uh, L.A. Marzulli went to a, I think it's the Chungo Desert in Peru. It's a private land. It's private land. And uh, there's a bunch of tombs on it that have been hit by grave robbers. And there is a desert. There's a large area <laughs> with bones everywhere. Just yep. freaking everywhere. Just laid out everywhere. Here's here's a little example of it. Um, Where is this? This is in and Peru. All, and Peru. Guess, guess what the skulls are. Uh, but can you guys guess? Uh, elongated. They're elongated. Oh, yeah. So this is the desert they're at, and there's this is uh, that's pieces of mummy cloth what? that are thousands of years old that are just laying around. He picks how, up. How has nobody gone to study this? It's in... Private land in the middle of nowhere in Peru. Uh, Here's another shot. And, and and not, everybody, land, not everybody. Not everybody can get on. Screen. Yeah. Yeah, go switch to his. Switch to my screen real quick because this is a Got different. Um, so this this is the same site, I believe, uh, yep. down in Peru. Yep. And th so wow. you can see there is a lot of, of bodies down there. It's not just like one or two. This was like a mass grave. And he's, oh, he's yeah. thinking that this was them trying to basically take the, the former royalty and just destroy their bloodline and yep. just get rid of them all. And they brought him here and killed him all. So the tombs are located in the area, but they're not here. Or are there they are here? Some tombs. The tombs go down as far as twenty-four feet, uh, and that's oh, for the okay. royal, for the royals. And um, <clears throat> yeah, they think there was some kind of just massacre. Yeah, and uh, and like all a battle. Bones. I mean, it looks like a battlefield. I don't, I don't know if it's going to look the same way back then, but it's very like a flat area. Well, the grave robbers just want the gold and, and right. the metals and the jewelry, <clears throat> and they're leaving behind, um, you know, uh, uh, clothes and bracelets, all that would be ar huge archaeological finds that would still be worth tons of money, by the way. And they just leave them there. The bones would be worth money. They would be. Uh, so interesting. I would not want to walk around there. Oh, my God. Ghosts. Kind of hard, kind of hard to get bones out of a country, though. Kind of <laughs> difficult. Don't try that True. one at home. Yeah. Yeah, There's an interesting <laughs> map that here it is. Okay, so this this I found very interesting. So this is Peru, 
and this is a, a line that goes through all of the ancient sites in Peru. And all of the skulls, I don't want to say all, um, he was saying a lot of the skulls uh, that he was finding fell right on this line through that were going through these ancient sites. Um, and then he, he actually goes into more details on this other, I don't, I, I couldn't recall I couldn't tell you what this one means, but he was getting real in depth with the geometry and like some some interesting stuff about these these lines and how they all were very interesting. But this dotted line right here, you could see this is uh, and Paracas is right here, and and this I'm just gonna go back because it makes more sense in the previous map. All right, so this one and and that that burial site too, I think is uh, on on this line. I found that very interesting too, because those megalithic sites uh, in Peru, it's like, hmm, a lot of these skulls were found amongst th in in this same line, and uh, it's like, hmm, okay, so who really built those, right? Yeah, was it the Kemet, like the Egyptians probably would have believed, and that would make sense, that they had this ancient technology, that they were the ones that built everything, and then passed it on to this. How would it get next... down to Peru? Well, actually, let me find that. I, I have a... It's teeing. It was a, a map. volleyball serve over to you. I know. It's perfect. Uh, I think it's right here. Oh, man. There's... That was a Maybe it's just because I'm... It doesn't I'm, matter. I'm I can just explain I'm, it. I'm a big dumb guy. Like, sometimes whenever I see the geometry squares and lines and stuff, I start to go like... Are you just yeah. lining up squares and circles and lines so it like lines up perfectly for like an explanation? It, it, Some of them get mean. to me like where I'm like going, ah, okay. No, it's difficult because you got to know like geometry. Like, and, yeah, like, like how they're breaking it down. If you can sit through a Randall Carls, there's multiple lectures on him breaking down uh, sacred ge geometry. The and, number uh, 72. It is, yeah, it is. It, there's a huge learning curve with it, especially if you're a yeah. big dummy like me. Yeah. Uh, but that one it, video that we watched was it the French oh, the, one? The yeah. golden ratio. That, that one was great because it, it broke it down really like clear it for did. a layman to understand. Like, because I already know the golden ratio and I know pi, but like how that fits into all this geometry is like, yeah, it it it, it made sense when they did it. Okay, so this this is uh, an article that I, I believe is written by Brian Forrester because you get to the bottom of it. And it's just like, you know, Brian Forrester. So I'm like, oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this is it, oh, this elongated is, yeah, this, skulls. Yeah, it, it, Hidden Inca it, Tours is his tour company, by the way. Oh, cool. Okay, that Ooh, makes sense. Though. We should go on All right, one. so elongated skulls from ancient Russia and the Black Sea areas. Now, when I first found, found out about this, I was really intrigued because, you know, I'm not that far from, you know, where the yeah. Black Sea is and all that stuff. And it's like, that's pretty crazy. Uh, so I'm just going to I'm just going to read this real quick. Sure. Uh, as of April 2018, I am in correspondence with a number of researchers in Russia who hopefully will be able to get more uh, to get me more information about the elongated skulls found in the Black Sea and related areas over the course of time. This may take weeks or months to obtain and thus may not appear in this book, but later in an update, most likely. That's pretty awesome. So here's him uh, in one of the skulls that they've actually found. And I think is this. Well, actually, let me just show you guys this real quick. So this sure. is all the spots that they have found elongated skulls, okay, on the planet, uh, at least at the time of them of oh, him showing Oh, they found some this. in Texas. Wow. Yeah, I guess oh, so. Uh, yeah, we should go check it out. I don't know Mexico if that's. I Texas. think it's Mexico. Uh, it's I Mexico. choose to believe it's Texas. It looks like could be, Santa could be on the border. Like some in Canada <laughs> that's pretty too. South. Yeah, that's insane. pretty south. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but that's. And, and it's it's interesting because him saying, like, if you could see where the Black Sea is there, right in the kind of right at the left arrow of the Huns. Uh, and then in the well, you know what? I'm going to just go through this and I want to find the uh, the ocean current map because it really does show it very well. OK, uh, in 2015, Russian archaeologists excavated Russia's Stonehenge, knows, known as Arkham discovered a mysterious skeleton with an unusual anomalous elongated skull. After numerous studies and analysis, they have managed to recreate how the Arkham elongated skull really looked like in the distant past. Arkham is one of the most mysterious 
ancient archaeological sites in Russia, this 20,000 square meter compound was protected by circular walls just before it was burned down and abandoned mysteriously. Archaeologists believe that just like Stonehenge in the UK, Arkham was an ancient site dedicated to the observation of stars and constellations. Now scientists have managed to recreate the image of a woman in a very precise model in three dimensions, which even reproduces the color of the skin and eyes, and its most interesting feature, the elongated skull. Precisely because of the odd shape of the head, researchers have nicknamed her as the uh, Sarmatian alien. I think that's how I would pronounce it. Uh, according to Yuri uh, Markarov, the elongated skull uh, shape of the skull is not unusual among the Sarmatians. Uh, in fact, in 80% of the cases during the excavation of Sarmatian graves in the area, Ural Mar uh, Mountains, researchers have discovered evidence of similar bone structures. The Ural and, Mountains, by the way. Lots of weird stuff happens yeah. in those Ural Mountains. So here's the skull right here. So this is a Russian uh, elongated skull. Uh, Russian archaeologists in the Siberian city of Omsk have, I, I don't know how if I'm saying that right, have found unusual elongated human skulls found in nearby forests in burial mounds. The archaeological team has begun studying bizarre elongated human skulls found in nearby forests almost 10 years ago. Scholars at the Omsk Museum of History and Culture have no conclusive answer as to the origins of these skulls, which were found in burial mounds that are believed to date to the 4th century AD. Because of the bizarre, uh, skull's bizarre shape, they do not show them to the public, fearing that people might be too shocked. There's mm. a well, look, I guess, is a different one because it's missing its whole yeah. uh, upper lip area. Okay, in Pryatigorsk, uh, Russia, southwest Russia, between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, more elongated skulls, uh, the Museum uh, there of Regional Studies has them on display. And there they are right there. Freaking awesome. Uh, the, the, the pea skull, I'm just going to call it the pea skull, uh, was found at the excavation site for the Kasoat burial ground in the vicinity of Kislovodsk, says doctor of historical scientist Vladimir Kuznetsov, the author of numerous studies of history of the North Caucasus. The skull is part of a culture of the ancient Alani, Approximately, it dates back to the 3rd to 5th centuries AD. These strange skulls appeared at the same time when the Sarmatian and Aleni hordes came around. Some of the nomads moved for the North Caucasus in the 15th century. And uh, that's between the Black and the Caspian Seas. And this, I think, is a child, actually. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, the remains of a one-and-a-half-year-old boy with a large elongated skull were found near the village of Yakovenkova in the eastern part of the Crimean Peninsula, says the Archaeological Fund, uh, a group that organizes digs across central Russia, Crimea, and northern Africa. I mean, and you can see the skull is like the size of the torso. Yeah. Right? Look look it's, at this, the size comparison there. I can't imagine pushing that thing out of your body. Oh my I was going to say, yeah, imagine <laughs> being the mom. <laughs> Oh, well, well but it doesn't they stay it doesn't come pressing, out right? well that's a year and a half right? yeah but even, yeah even still like I, I don't have uh any pictures brought up but you can imagine like the width of the skulls are very similar it's just that they're longer right so as long as it's they're just going in the same direction it's yeah. just longer it's not wider so well, it's if you see a lot of the as... times when babies are born when they mm -hmm. go through the vaginal canal their heads will be elongated to an extent oh, they're so soft but yeah so right. that's what the, that's why we have those sutures so our, our the skull can deform can and go through naturally yeah. right yeah. yeah i'm assuming right after the baby is born then they bind it with either wood or right cloth or something and then it just extends as, as they grow it grows so there's another one right here this is yeah. this is i believe the cover of the book that he wrote uh, so and then he just talks about his book. So that's uh, I, I just found that very interesting because fourth century A.D. That's that's not uh, ancient, right? That's sixteen hundred years ago, right? I mean that's after 
Rome, uh, yeah. you know, the fall of Rome, or I, I don't know what year the fall of Rome it's, happened, right? About that time? I, I don't I know. It's no, in it's Russia. Dark so Ages. 400 AD? 400. Yeah, that's around. That's Dark Ages. That's Dark, dark Ages. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. So, like, these these natural elongated skull humans, or are they humans? I, I know we're going to get into the DNA, which is a completely different conversation, but very intriguing. Um, there are, like, a branch of humans, maybe. Well... That's something that features. I mean, I guess well, let's talk about it because in in his lectures, Brian Forrester, it, he he does DNA tests, actually. Yes. And they they find out that the mother is homo sapien, but the father's DNA is uncategorizable. Uncategori I don't know what the word would be is, but they, they yeah. don't know what it is. It's not human. It's according to him. So he's saying that some of the DNA that they're finding is a mix between humanoid blood and something else. And I was like, what the hell does that uh, mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> what? <laughs> I wonder uh, if they huh? procreated together or if they're just living intermingled together because, you know, with the giants, some, you know, there was hints of maybe they did have some kids together, but, you know, they yeah. kept separate. So this Who could knows? be... A, a mix of the Paracas as well as the humans. And if they could, you know, have babies, then that, that would make it quite interesting if you could mix the DNA. Maybe they're like a liger, like they can't reproduce. Oh, like oh, like oh, a donkey. Okay. Yeah. Or a donkey, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 1600 years is not ancient anymore. Not to me. I'm sorry, no. No, we've pushed that yeah, back line no. way uh, further back. 1,600 <laughs> years is baby talk uh, now. It has to be at least <laughs> five recent. digits. <laughs> I know. 1,600 yeah. years, like, yeah. oh, wow. Okay. The more I look at the timeline, the more I'm like, dang, Jesus was like yesterday. I know. Like, 2,000 years, that's like nothing. Yeah. Well, and according to Andreas, it... the last 2,000 years doesn't exist. <laughs> well, uh, there's a lot of things according to Andreas. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, okay. That's uh, a good point. As they pointed out in Joe Rogan, uh, that we are closer to Cleopatra than Cleopatra was to the supposed building of the pyramids. Right, right. That's true. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. But uh, well, here, here's some more it, evidence. If the Sphinx is 20,000 years old, yeah, 1,600 years ago is not, not, nothing compared to that. I know. So this, Brad, this is oh, supposedly a child. Um, I, I don't remember how old he said, um, like maybe a couple years. Uh -huh. And if you look at, I'm going to mute this and just let it play for a second. Um, okay, so here's the back of the skull. It doesn't really show, and I can't really tell you what he's saying. Okay, here's the front though. Okay. Very different eye size. What do you notice? Actually? Oh yeah, they're narrow. Uh, they're taller. Well, on a child, yeah, they always are, look big. Are... Okay, child, child skull like skulls. Child, child do... eyes are usually like they're just buggy eyed. But, okay, so yeah. that's that's not unusual. But, no, no, but they're narrower. Like humans okay. are more rounder than that. Is the best way I can kind of. He explain does point it. out that there are full like these are like adult molars in this child and this is like under 10 years old under 10 yeah yeah okay that's pretty impressive yeah and then actually. there's actually a mummy i don't remember are you exactly. my mummy there's a mummy oh of God. a child that 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 was like <laughs> like an infant vibes. and had had full teeth full like a full mouth of teeth as and it was an infant with an elongated skull Oh and he God. was like, "That doesn't happen in humans. Like humans no. don't." Are we have are we talking teeth. small? Just a small person, not a child. A, alien. He, according to Brian, about. it was it was <laughs> little an gray man. No, so, so if like, if you have the, an alien, if you have the other bones, like the rest of the body, you can it's tell them a child like a pygmy? or an adult. Because like yeah. you would see the joints in the hands fully formed, mm. and the legs, and even the skull, because he still had the fontanelle, which is the opening at the top. So he yeah. is a child based on right. that. So oh, is that what that hole was? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, a lot of kids have that, even like human human kids. Um, yeah. You gotta be careful. The squishy brain. <laughs> And yeah, also that's like number rib, one thing. The rib cage what had less ribs in it than, uh, than how many did it human. have? I didn't count. Uh, I, I, he didn't actually say a number. Oh. I, I think he just said like a uh, one set of ribs less than than what we so do. We always 11. have the same number of ribs. You I, I'm usually so. do, 
Very okay. few people can have differences in the number of ribs as well as your um, lower back and your neck bones. Sometimes you have extra or less. Okay. Very that is interesting. Few. Yeah. So. I haven't counted. I haven't counted my ribs ever. Have you? Um, no. I had an X-ray, so yes. <laughs> but you mentioned you mentioned your the spine, and I want to show you this. This is like a, five or six. This is a comparison between a human <laughs> skull. There's a couple in there. Here's a comparison between two of the elongated skulls on the left oh, and a yes, human skull on the like right. That was insane to see that picture. Yeah. So you um, could see that the spinal, what, what, what would that hole be where so the spinal cord meets? It's called the meets? foramen magnum. That's where the spinal, oh, uh, the spine goes through and holds onto the head. <laughs> um, and yeah. the, the, the main thing I got from his lectures was that because of the elongated skulls, there was an evolutionary pressure, I guess, to have that m more further posterior or more for the back than um, humans, where we see it more central in the skull. Mm. So well, this almost so looks like balance. a protective, like it's protecting that joint. You know, where where the one on the right, it's very open uh, to the to the spinal cord, and then the one the two on the left are like they have like a almost a socket. Yeah, yeah, that, that looks go. that looks like it's manufactured. <laughs> like, yeah, it looks like there's a weird... maybe a ball and joint. I mean, yeah, bring yeah. up a good point. Kinda. That we're, kinda, we're yeah. bi we are just biological robots. That's all we are. Yeah, it's pretty badass. Maybe when you think about it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, he was saying that the smaller hole actually self-replicating robots <laughs> tends to to suggest that uh, the necks were a lot longer. Also, and that's um, why I want to see the other bones. Right. Well, yeah. you'd have to be have a stronger neck, right? I mean, that would. Well, and, and right. actually, yeah, you yeah. bring up a good point. So the side here, your mastoids. Um, I don't know what. Uh, like if the muscle a there. So that it's a site of attachment for muscles, and it's vastly larger in the paracus skulls because they're bigger, heavier, and it just makes sense that they would be larger to hold a lot more up there um, versus a human skull. So it's very interesting, all the, the little minor differences. And there's also, so I have a picture here. Uh, let me show you guys this. So we have these little holes in our face that have um, blood and nerves that come out of it. Uh, so we have the uh, mental foramen, the infraorbital foramen, um, all over. And that's how you'll know if it's a real skull or not. Uh, or fake one based on that because normal uh, uh, fake ones never produce that. But in the skulls of the Paracas, they have foramen in the back of their head, which what? humans don't have. Yeah. It's weird. The Very hell? interesting. Very interesting. So what, what would the need for uh, more nerves and blood flow? Maybe because it's larger. We don't necessarily so know. Now that we're learning that hominid species, not human, hominid species, were doing things like burying their dead ritualistically and Hundreds building structures half a million years ago. Half I a million think, years ago. I think it could be within the realm of possibility that it might just be another species of hominid, another species of yeah. human. Yeah. Um, Correct. Or aliens. Uh, whatever. But... um. If we go back to like younger Dryas, and this has been brought up a lot, you know, they've never found a club, uh, uh, WGs out there. What's up, WG? Uh, who believes that they, they have found Clovis people, but we haven't been able to dig them up. We can't dig them up, but they suspect they know where some may be. I don't know any more details on that. Uh, but, um, humans are very difficult to find, uh, when we, especially you know hunter gatherers when we died we died in the middle of the desert our bones got picked eaten destroyed unless it's like arid like uh that desert in peru but that's also those were buried bones that were brought up by that were brought up by gate grave robbers um it, it's certainly possible that there's tons of forms of humans that we haven't even discovered yet right uh, and it's certainly possible that they could have been very different. They could have been bigger. Uh, all the animals prior to the younger, younger Dryas, uh, aside from the ones in Africa that still survive, by the way, 
but there was four species of elephants over here in America. There was camels. the woolly rhino, short-faced bear, camels, horses, all kinds of crazy shit. The giant saber-toothed tiger. Right. Um, why wouldn't there be bigger humans? And we just haven't found them yet, you know? Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. it, Nephilim. The Nephilim. Lots of yeah. stories of giants, Bigfoot, lots of giant bones. Nephilim. You know, when they were destroying all the mounds across America, which is fucking tragic, man. Yeah. But, uh, and, and uh, did I tell you I went down this rabbit hole? There are mounds that have not been fucked with, but they're on private property or they're deep into a forest and people will not give the location of them. And just, of which I'm totally for, by the way, I'm absolutely for. So there are still undiscovered or unfucked with mounds out there in America. You just got to, you, you know, know where they are. Um, but it's sad. But the, and, and a lot of that, uh, you know, the Smithsonian, the whole, you know, they're covering up the Giants thing. That's a tough one to buy. It just is. You know, it's like, why would you cover that up? Uh, be, you know, uh, to, to help because you couldn't cover it up forever. Eventually it would get out. Somebody what's the will, purpose? Yeah. What's like, the purpose of that? But then after you hear the Alaska Boneyard guy say that they he had a bunch of bones that he gave to that museum in New York and they just fucking sat on them and dumped them in the goddamn Hudson Bay, you're like, huh? That's so sad. And people have actually dove down there and gotten some. So it's they, not just got, a myth. It's not a story. Like no, no. They're there. They're down there. Did you hear the follow up? They, Joe, yeah. Joe talked about it. He said there is a bone rush and people have found the bones. Yes. Wow. So they have found the, uh, the the bones in in the Hudson Bay, or uh, it's off a certain street. And he announced it on Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah. That's uh, yes. There's the Lovelock Cave, which is really interesting. I want to go there someday. I mean, I'm not going to find any giant bones, but I want to definitely go there because uh, Lovelock is very interesting in Nevada. Um, a long time ago, prior to the Ice Age, during the Younger Dryas, there was a bunch of lakes there, and they believe some of those lakes could have actually connected in some way uh, to the Pacific. The Lovelock cave story. Yeah. yeah mm. So, uh, and the, well, Lovelock is near like a dead, like a dried up lake too. So um, lots of dried up lakes in Nevada. Lots and lots, lots and lots. Uh, but it's an interesting story. And the, the story was that uh, in it, local uh, Indian tribe, I'm going to say Indian, I don't care um was fighting giants and they got tired of the giants fucking with them so they band together and trapped them in a cave and killed them in there yeah. uh and uh you know who knows if it's true but we've covered it before on this i love i i like bigfoot i would love the giant thing to be true i really would not be not sold wild on that would be wild be it good. would be wild we need the well, the world is weird already <laughs> It's way weirder than we think it is. Uh, it is sad that archaeology uh, spends just as much time suppressing information than they do, like, actually giving us good information. Yeah. And uh, I saw our buddy Luke Caverns put up a poll the other day. Is like, is archaeology a science? And I think the it was yes, no, and partially, and partially one, like, by a long shot. It, I, would, yeah, I would say it, partially. It's a bit of both. It depends on how you study it, I Yes. It depends on the individual that's doing it, it seems, or the group of individuals doing it. Depends it depends on who's sponsoring it. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it very much seems like it's just kind of like we say what it is and that's kind of what it is. We don't really look right. into it. I think things will start getting exciting because, as Graham says, the old guard is dying out. And we got a new guard coming in that's way more open minded to this stuff. Which is great. And doesn't, and, and, the, the the academic paradigm is so freaking anti-christian and anti-religion that they will they'll do mental gymnastics and move thousands of goalposts to stay away from anything that might confirm anything that happens in any kind of biblical text or the quran or anything especially when it comes to the flood they very really don't want to dogmatic. Touch it. You could it's say. very dogmatic yeah. and religious like, isn't it? Like a zeal like yeah. a yeah. zealot. Mm. Instead of hey, let's just get to the fucking truth. That's what uh, I want. That's just what like I want. that's what I love about like real science. The, the the amount of people that are getting into archaeology because of Graham, because of Joe, the Joe Rogan experience Joe when Rogan. they see they see Graham or um 
Randall go on and talk, they want to get into it. And they're, you know, young ones that are getting into it and they have that open mind, but then they have the critical eye of, of an archaeologist so they can parse these things out and get to the truth. Because that's the ultimate point of all of this is trying to, what was the past? Where did we come from? What is the mysteries of this world? That's what I want to learn. I don't want to learn what the academics just from on high tell us what the past was. I want to actually know what it is. So the more people can get out there, the more people that can go and investigate these things, the better. Agreed. So in this uh, Watchers special, they do some pretty interesting stuff. They're allowed to do stuff to these skulls that like no fucking museum would do, including fill their craniums full of rice to see like how much space is in the cranium. And it's pretty oh, they're measuring. Huh? They measure it. And uh, it's uh, pretty insane. Should I? Um, what, obviously, one head takes a lot more rice than the other. Right. Yeah. But Brian's like in there just picking up these fucking skulls and stuff. And they're just out in the open. And, and, this, oh and, and, and a lot of them are hidden now. A lot of the stuff that, that because Brian did a lot of this work, a lot of the stuff is hidden now. But like, but now we've seen it. So they do hide shit. They absolutely do hide shit. Why? I mean, your yeah. guess is as good as mine. I, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, politics and political correctness and and land and land. Because there are, um, was it Serpent Mound they talked about? Serpent Mound where Gra Graham Hancock, correct me if I'm wrong, chap, but I'm pretty sure it was Serpent Mound. Serpent Mound. He was banned from his yep. show. Oh, yeah, he was denied. <laughs> but yep. the, the tribe that overlooks Serpent Mound has even said, we didn't make it. It's not ours. We didn't do it. But we're happy to, to preserve it, to keep people from effing with it. Um, and that's the case in, in a lot of these cases that they were granted reservations, they were granted land, and it might not be theirs. There might be a race of people that was there beforehand. And before that, and before that, and what does that do with the whole term indigenous people, right? Because, I mean, if you think about it, if you go with science point of view, nobody's indigenous. They all came yeah. here from Eurasia or whatever through the ice yeah. corridor. Nobody's indigenous. Um, all but, land is stolen if you go back far enough. Exactly. Yeah. But what For Graham one. and others are saying is, no, there's, there's definitely indigenous Americans who were here the whole fucking time like hundreds of thousands of years. So that's what we're, because it wasn't too long ago, there was nothing before the Clovis people. And and before that, there was, there was it, we were only here for what, 10,000 years. So, and, and it's been controversial to take, in the Americas, to take humans being back 18,000 years, 20,000 years, but it's going, they're finding, they keep finding evidence and more evidence that it taking the clock way back. Um. So here, everything is, keeps getting older. Look at, it. we're going to pour sure. the rice in for that big. You know old, what? At least it's dry. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they're pouring rice and skulls, and I'm sure like anthropologists yeah, and archaeologists looking at this just going, "What the?" F and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I freaking love it. No. I want to go see these. Another, see this. Oh, right this is the wall. This is where he talks about where at this wall you see like three different forms of construction. You see the megalithic. You could see it right here. It just, yep. the uh, Inca. Yeah, three. So that's I megalithic. That's pre-Inca. Then that's the Inca mm -hmm. above, and then it's Spanish. There's two versions of Spanish. That is insane. What is that, man? Who made those? Ah, dude, this special is go to so Peru. good. Oh the special is like 10 years old. I saw it in the middle of the night one night. when Watchers? I, um, let me just bookmark that. When I was, when I was uh, just starting out this channel uh, and doing like two podcasts a week, I was working up in Santa Rosa. So from San Francisco, it was like an hour drive back and forth. All I do is listen to these things on my phone. And then... I'd get home, I'd do my little podcast, hang out with the family, and then, you know, I stayed up late, and I would be up till 2 in the morning watching this shit, like, every night, every single night. Um, and it's fascinating. And it seems like the word's gotten out on these guys now, and it's because they had way easier access before, prior to COVID, we'll say. They had a lot of easy access to this stuff, but it's, it is incredible. So, like, like Look at that. 
I definitely want to make it to sexy, sexy woman, sexy woman, <laughs> because that is Don't fucking sexy insane. woman looks really cool. Yeah. At. I want to go to Peru, man. It's we like, need to go. Yeah. That's my top I'll three. Bring, I'll right bring there. my drone. And and when you oh, look yeah. at that, when you back off and look at that, because there's not, they it's never like massive. give you a grand scale. It looks like the base of something. Like definitely something should have been built on top. Like of a star it. fort. Like, it may be. Oh. Like a star fort or a giant castle. A I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's Helm's Deep. There's the terraces. Is there any more skulls? I don't think there's any more skulls. Definitely watch this episode. Okay. It's fucking great. Uh, so I have a, a bunch of different skulls uh, and a mummy. I just want to just show you. I, I let's see them it. all up. So here's here's one of the, the babies. Another baby skull. Um, th th I think this is actually the one that has the the molars. Uh, yeah, yeah. This this is that one that we he showed pictures of. So this is him standing right in front of it. This one is another infant that he found in like this tiny little museum. Like the first, I don't know, minute is him just driving to this place, and it's this little tiny town, and he goes in, and there's just like this this elongated skull baby uh and then this one is wow. an actually an adult mummy of an like is it muted yeah this is uh and he was saying all of these are no longer on display all of them are yep. gone they're all wow. gone so here's and he said that this this uh position is very classic for what they would normally found uh, with the eyes Cover over the, the face. Why would these the hands be gone? The like what does he give any reason? Them? Why would they remove them? No. Like the, all yeah. this would make the museum as money. It would bring in tons of tourism. It's creepy they make... as shit though. It is really creepy. Yeah, that should, that should be like the cover of an album or something. Side. Terrifying actually. Look at that. This looks like a scary movie. I want, yeah, to be right? buried. I want to be buried like that so when people dig me up, mm -hmm. they're like this. What's your, this your, guy going through? Your coffin would be very small. Let's <laughs> say I just watched the Marvels. It's that good? <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> the MCU did this to me. Multiple times in a row. Uh, oh. And now this this is uh, from Crimea. Um, so this is this is a Crimea Marvel River. Skull. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my exactly. God. <laughs> and then I found the the ocean map now this is when he's explaining can you see my mouse no, you can't see my uh, mouse can yeah you? you can't see it yeah we can see your mouse we can tell the mice in your house we obviously need <laughs> okay some help no there. i have a cat he kills every single thing that moves. does he uh, yeah no. oh yeah no, that's what they're on. yeah cats are wonderful. i'll never get a cat again but they were really good for that my cat used to catch cockroaches dude Ew. Wow. yeah 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 well uh, Easily I was, a mouse and yes, he would eat them. He would, but he would, before he was, he would eat them. He had to show them to me. He's like, "Hey, look what I did, Dad." <laughs> oh my look god, my work. Very interesting. Look upon my work. Have you know? I feel like they always look like they're gonna kill you, but then they'll like, if I like you, I can present all my dead things to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're, I'll never have, I'll never have a cat again. Screw cat boxes. So you can see from the Middle East though um, that if you come down into the the ocean there the Indian Ocean and follow the land, the, the water will naturally pull you all the way down and around Australia. And then once you get over to like New Zealand, then all of a sudden you're on this like perfect, you know, pull all the way across the ocean. And where do you end up as you make that turn back up north? Boom, right into Peru. Uh, Chile and Peru are all along that coast. And that's what he's, he's thinking that the, these people were... I mean, if you if you go back to the story of Akhenaten, right, and he was trying to bring the people of Egypt back into this other religion and get rid of the priests because he thought that they were bad for uh, for society, uh, which I agree, according to, you know, what the story is anyway. If they're being hunted and destroyed, uh, even in Peru, they, they seem to be hunted and, and destroyed. But if they were and they had to escape and they, they wanted to leave— and they were just being chased completely and then, you know, last ditch effort, go across the ocean to a completely new land, which they probably knew about. Right. You know, it probably wasn't a mystery. They probably knew that the land existed there. Uh, and that, that would make sense that they were running away because they were being chased. Yeah. Uh, just a theory. Just a theory. I don't know if that's true. Well, or it's not, a good theory because there's a that's DNA. There's that DNA connection. Uh, that you, right. I don't know. Right. Yeah, that, that DNA connection with uh 
people near the Black Sea with the Paracas people, which mm -hmm. is insane. And it took a, a while to get like, I remember when he started the DNA journey, which is, oh God, 2016, 15 or 16. So it's been a long time. He's been trying yeah. to get this done. And like at first he was doing it on the budget because like getting DNA checked is not cheap. So I think he found a, a like there was a a company in California and one in Canada. And I think the one in Canada came through. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong, chat. But yeah, until uh until Trudeau showed up, Canada was a better place to go for stuff like this. Yeah. And the commie <laughs> showed up and it's not. But um yeah, I think the word just got out on him. I think that's why, like, so so my whole thing about the Smithsonian hiding giant bones, uh, I'm starting to believe that they would because we're, dude, we're seeing it now. They're they're hiding elongated skulls. Why? And th yep. to be fair, there is a ancient alien special where David Hatcher Childress goes to a college in Wyoming and... I've told you guys about this. He opens up a cupboard oh, the, and there's two the fucking skull. giants. There's two giant skulls in it. And, oh, and they're just there. And, he, and he's all, he's all, here's a normal skull and here's the giant skull. And it's fucking huge. And they're just in a cupboard, in a yeah. fucking cupboard. And, it, and a lot of this is, it, it might not be conspiratorial. It's like, this doesn't fit within our narrative. So we're just going to forget about it. It's just an anomaly. It was just like one giant, you know. <gasps> well, Someone the, just mentioned the Grand Canyon. Oh, wow. Yes. Dude, I, I I've been wanting to talk about it. I feel I, we got to do a whole episode on it, but I I can't help but they, they're so right. Like now that I'm looking at that map of them coming across, I mean it it could have been the Egyptians that were escaping that persecution, uh, coming down to Peru, making their way up through the Americas and landing in the Grand Canyon and putting. For those who don't know, there is a massive cavern in the Grand Canyon with hieroglyphs and chambers. Supposedly. And, Supposedly, Supposedly. Yeah. right. The Smithsonian denies it, even though they put out a, a, an article back in yeah, they did nine uh, about it, and then ever since it's just been denied. You can call them and ask them, and they just no, no, no. That that was a that was not true. Even though there, I have seen images of their concrete slabs in different spots in that area on the top where the air holes would have been. Uh, with like mounting rigs that you would need to maybe get over the edge, why would those be there? Anyway, very intriguing, and that would be amazing. This is yep. in the Grand Canyon, supposedly. Did, did you see Jimmy's supposedly. thing? Uh, for, we talked about it a few months ago, where he's like, you know, Colorado River, Grand Canyon, yeah. lot, yeah, lot. The the river is a lot younger than the Nile, and and then he named off a bunch of other rivers. He's all. You know, th th there's no giant canyons there. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Doesn't no. make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Uh, Watching this great Y Files episode about, I think it was plasmoids, possibly something adjacent to that. Mm. He was talking Plasmoid about the, adjacent. the surface of um, Saturn and the canyons that they find there, and the 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 scientists that have on Saturn. How? Yeah. It's gas. Was it Saturn? Gashes. Maybe it was a different. Are you talking planet. about Mars? Maybe. No, it wasn't Mars. It was no. Saturn or uh, Uranus. Uh, what are these planets? It, it, so it might be a moon. Really... There's so, some yeah, no, it was a moon around. There. It was a moon around Saturn. Okay. Okay, uh, that sounds more okay. right. Uh, yeah. what was Enceladus. No. Titan. Maybe it's Titan. Titan. That sounds right. Titan. Yeah. Titan. Uh, and anyways, on Saturn. Uh, so you was talking about the way that the the canyons are made there and it's through electricity because of the, the way that the sun, when it gives off these radiate uh, radiation, it starts a, like an electricity cloud in its atmosphere. Are you talking about just Ad Astra, the movie? No, no. Okay. The, the, the electric in universe. The, files. It's, the electric okay. universe. Yes. The electric universe theory. Yep. So it, Which, the sun gives like, off electricity the craters on the moon craters on the moon as well very flat okay no i know where you're going with this Go yeah on. so it it creates in the atmosphere of that moon it creates an electric field and it basically like fried the surface of that moon and that's how you make those caverns and it those those kind of you know relatively tight shallow 
caverns that kind of look like the Grand Canyon. Well, we have it's like a, spidered out. Like we a, had a like an probe electric... that landed on Titan. Have you ever seen the footage of that? No. What? No. Yes. We have a probe that landed on Titan. Really? Oh. Yep. That's cool. I didn't, I didn't Here, know I'll that. find it for you. Yeah, I'm going to watch that. Yeah, as well, because when you think about the way that the Grand Canyon, when you look at it from a bird's eye view, it looks like when you electrify wood. So you, have you ever seen that where they take two nails and yeah. electrify it and it spiders yeah. out, right? Yeah, it yeah. kind of looks like a, lightning a little bolt. bit like that. That's true. It There's a weird, it an interesting uh, connection That's there. That's interesting. Wow. All right, here we go. Here we go. But yeah, like the Grand Canyon makes no sense. Like, where did all of this erosion come from? If it wasn't a massive flood that instantly eroded all of the ground right there, or something like that, some kind of solar flare that just zapped that side of the continent. We'll speed it up a little bit. Electric Universe, that was the video I was watching when I was talking to you, Adam, earlier. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Y-Files. That is cool. So there is methane, I believe. Uh, it's Ocean. here, right, chat? It's, it's, yeah, it's like lakes of methane. Yeah, oceans of yeah. methane. Liquid oceans methane of methane. Titan. Wow. Oh, that's cool. That's a big mountain. The world just feels so small when you see things like this. That seemed fake there. A little bit. This all looks fake. It's not. This is real. That's real. So this is like it's satellite footage of taking pictures. And that and shadow and was the was the. It's just the the huh. video footage wasn't great, but um, yeah. That the last it. bit was definitely fake. Because like how, the, the how lead up was, was like satellite photos of it getting closer. Well, they have a couple pictures of uh, of Venus. You've seen those, right? The Russian <laughs> I've probe. Seen, I've seen those. Yeah. Yeah, that's that insane. Thing, that thing didn't last long. <laughs> no, but the fact yeah, that it, it got lasted closer at, and was like the fact that it darkness. lasted at all was crazy. And that it's was true. like in the eighties or seventies, yeah. right? So the fact that that thing lasted for a fucking minute there, where the temperature melts lead, <laughs> the outside temperature melts lead. Uh, but you know a planet should not be that hot. There's it, like Venus has no business being hotter than fucking Mercury, but it is. Well, they're finding uh, gases that can only come from organics. So, yeah, in the atmosphere. Well, the atmosphere is temperate, right? So if you get high enough uh, in, in the clouds, they say in some places it's like seventy degrees. Just tardigrades, wow. just living. This little like peanut peanut fungi guy or something living in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. Uh. Tartakovsky believed that. I think it was Tartakovsky. Yeah, I believe that Venus was a comet. And it just got a giant wow. comet that came in, and it's the thing that. Uh, yeah. Was it? Yeah. It does look like. Yeah. Cloud City could. Uh. uh Twister men. Twistered men. Cloud City. Yeah. Bespin. Bespin. The fucking yeah, Lando. Yeah. That's cool. That makes sense. You old scoundrel. We this is a, this an there. image of an artist recreation. Actually, they uh, Marcia Moore. They he worked with to, and she had like a the a three D printed skull or I don't know exactly how they did it, but she you know built the muscles, built the skin, and then recreated what they were to look like. And this is uh this is it. This mm -hmm. is the the ancient elongated skulled Peruvians, uh, right here from Marcia Moore. So I thought that was pretty cool. Kind of kind of see what they're so it still looks super close to humans. But it's oh, interesting yeah. that she chose like a darker skin tone with I was thinking hair. that too, yeah. <laughs> it looks more African than Yeah. Well yeah. you need to think like Egypt. Yeah, it, it looks Egyptian to me. Yeah, I yeah, mean, like yeah, ancient that's, Egyptian. That's yeah, yeah. Right, ancient Egyptian. That's it looks like Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah, they all look like Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with the chat. I agree with the chat. Oh, my gosh. Elongated alopecia. Wow. Elongated and tangled. Well, oh, God. <laughs> in a lot of the research that I had, is like red hair, and then there was one uh, that said that there was one with blonde hair, but you don't hear a lot about, like, dark hair. So you would assume that they have, uh, according to the lectures, lighter skin. So maybe it's just a, a 
forgotten mention of darker hair or finding of darker hair on some of these? It's just artistic there, choice. There's um, also there, there is pushback on some of the, especially the Atlanta theories. We saw it with the with when they went after Graham. There is pushback, and it's fucking insane to talk about. Just want to put that out there. But remember when they called Graham a white supremacist, right? Yeah. Which is yeah. fucking ridiculous. It's if you laughable. Saw his Every time but if I you know it. anything about the man, if you know anything about the man, he is, that's just not the case. Just his wife. If you even it, knew who his wife was. It's, th this accusation <laughs> right. is meaningless now, but there is a group of people out there. There is a political paradigm that uh, Adam talks about quite a bit. That really likes to push this in relation to fascism because they want to make fascism the boogeyman so they can help push collectivism. Okay, let's just let's just cut the bullshit here. That they it's a really it's a collectivist point of view, it's a communist point of view, it's a Marxist point of view to really push the white supremacy and fascism, get them together so we can start some collectivism so they can form their own form of bigotry, which they've already done. That being said, I think that's why a lot of the academics push against that because if there is even any kind of evidence that uh and and i'm not saying this but just say a white race got on a ship because they were persecuted or lost or whatever and ended up in south america and found out they would suppress it and they would suppress it because of their politics they would be afraid that that would reinforce some boogeyman some fascist boogeyman and and it sounds insane even saying it out loud but that's what they do i mean we talk it, it's just as insane calling me a fascist for not liking Doctor Who, you know, which I get called. It's just as insane. It's it, calling Graham a white supremacist is insane. And, uh, but that's part of the reason. The reason they called him that because he was, because he talked about Atlantis. He's never brought up like what the Atlanteans, what they look like. Mm -hmm. Never brought up what they look like, but they projected that on him. And they're like, because some group well, out not there just, said, it's every story you know the the story everyone. of the bearded the bearded guys uh, yeah. men who were white that arrived on a boat and taught them knowledge this is something that appears in many different civilizations throughout it's the Graham. entire it's not and, graham and it's, it's their culture graham. that's teaching it it's right their it's just culture. it's they're telling him and graham's going hey look look what they're telling me and they're like yeah. oh, supremacy yeah, the, so, the, so the, the guys in, in charge seem to have a culture of fear. So anytime a person that does have an open mind, that does want to investigate in other directions other than the status quo, you get called racist. And, like, imagine you're, you spent thousands upon thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands possibly, on college. You've built your whole life on this. You, you, tr you try to, you're trying to get tenure or something, and you discover something. And you can't come out with it. Because if you do, you look at people like Graham that have gotten their whole life kind of destroyed in certain ways. He's definitely come back. I think he was right the whole time. It was good to stick with it. But for a long time, he was called a kook. He's called a crazy person. Ostracized. That's why he's so pissed about it. And that's why yeah. at the beginning of every one of his talks, he's talking about how much he freaking hates the <laughs> archaeologists. Because they, on they shit bit. on him for because, like 20, 30 years. Because there was a hundred articles on the guy. I right. mean, like, I'm talking So imagine about, you're, you're that guy. You're looking at that. Yeah, and I get comments. And yeah, and imagine like you wake up one morning after your Netflix special. You're feeling pretty good about yourself. You're all, I got a Netflix special. Hey, babe. Hey, Sansa. Netflix special. That's right. Oh, I'm a white supremacist. Yeah, I'm a white supremacist. I'm a white supremacist. I'm a white supremacist. I'm a white supremacist. Yeah. So That's I think Graham. I, I wish Graham would kind of switch up his hating on archaeologists because I totally understand it. I get it. They trashed on him for thirty I just years. I don't think he gives a flying fuck anymore. But we we need to like start promoting yeah. the ones that are that do have the balls to go out there and start yeah. investigating because well, like we need more I, of those. I get, I get what you're saying because you want to like there are very good archaeologists out there who one who support graham right um but like archaeology should, archaeology shouldn't be a community so i hate the fucking word community yeah. okay community is collectivist talk uh it should not be a community it should be people who check in each other once in a while it's individuals who are checking each other and if you really want to be about the truth and science then investigate yep. but they don't investigate they just go this guy's full of shit because the science is settled the well, science it's not a community is, it's a cult there's it's a, a cult. difference it's a cult right they and, call and, it community, but it's a cult. Graham, they really want to be science, but I don't think archaeology is. It's a lot of opinion is what it is. 
By the way, there's a little bit of science that they try, right. but it, if it's Eric not science. out there. I got your message. Thank you, buddy. From three twenty-five today, but I got you. He he told me. Uh, I I pointed to the link to a video in my video, but I didn't. Yeah. Put the oh, link you didn't drop it. Yeah. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna do that. I wasn't right sure now. which one you were talking. Thanks, Eric. I would have put the thumbnail. Oh. I do want to show. Right this is a different. This is uh, a different article that I found. Why Marvel uh, is failing. That's what I was talking about. Uh, this no, is a. Something else. Go ahead. It was the no, you're going. You're going. Uh, no, okay. it's it's uh, the making of the MCU. That's that's that video. I gotta find it. Sorry, Adam. So, go ahead. No, no. I just want to show that there, there are examples that humans have been. Uh, other examples of humans trying to replicate this elongatedness. Uh, and there's a lot of Bulgarian brides going back to 500 CE uh, and of them. And it's only the women where only women have been found with the elongated skull. Like they these families would choose the, the baby women and they're like, all right, this is going to be like a bride to like we're going we're gonna to elongate her skull. And it's proven that they were deformed. Um, and I just wanted to kind of show that. It, there's more examples that not not just in because uh, what we've seen in Native Americans where I showed in the beginning where you could see that they're headboarding and having the fake elongated skull. Yeah. Uh, this was going across in Europe also in Bulgaria uh, as back far as far back as 500 CE. Uh, so that's pretty cool to see that. Uh, you know, I think it's it's crazy, uh, but there's mm -hmm. there was such an esteem in an elongated skull that they would do this to their, you know, cause you know, dowry and the, the whole better prospects. With, what, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, Oh, well my daughter has an elongated skull. So, yeah. you know, she's, she's of the royal bloodline. One. Right. It probably right, hurts right. so much. Oh my God. Well, it, no, it's over like, time, why, right? why, why would it, right? It would become, sure. it just, your brain would shape to that, I guess. I, I mean, who knows? It braces. Imagine I, I, how that felt versus a head as it's growing. I'd imagine it's like foot binding where they just put something super, super tight on their heads. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Probably when it was happening, it hurt. Right. But, after, but then after, yeah. I mean, after it's done. Uh, so I, I thought that was really cool. I just kind of wanted to, I wanted to show that uh, before we, we move on. Fixed. Fixed it? Just oh, one. Nice. Cool. Fixed. Multitasking. I'm not perfect, known to doing perfect that. Perfect amount okay. of time there. Just wanted I just, to, you know, uh, fill that time I'm, segment. Well, I wanted to just show this because I know Adam said that there was like a huge difference between a baby human and a baby Paracas skull. And oh, yeah. this was an example in the lecture. I was, uh, I, was, I was panning through it. These are approximately the same age? I don't know 100%, but they have to be around under five years old, probably. I'm not sure. Uh, but that size difference, the teeth. The teeth are what throw me off because yeah, like, those don't look like baby teeth. Nope. I see a lot of baby teeth around my house and those don't look like baby <laughs> teeth. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of freaky. Yeah. He was saying that they're, that they are, I don't know if, they, if they've proven this or not, that they think that the, the babies were fully to toothed or teethed, whatever, uh, in the womb. Teeth like had oh, their teeth. Before teeth. Birth. Is that oh, it? Wow. Teeth yeah, before birth. <laughs> teeth. No, fully teeth. They've been teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's that's kind of crazy to think about. Like, what if yeah. they're bitey while they're in there? Ugh. Probably not. What? But what would bother me more is like, uh, would they need to like drink milk if they have teeth? That's the point of having teeth is to. I'd chew. be a little hard on the nips. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Well, you know, human babies, right? I mean, we we're one of the very few animals on this planet that have to care for their the the baby, right? And and if you don't teach a baby, uh, a human baby, they they are clueless. They they can, yeah. you know, they don't have these natural instincts to uh, fend yeah, for, for themselves. themselves. Yeah. Like many animals in in the animal kingdom, they, they'll pop out and instantly be ready to like, run. Oh, yeah. In right? a few days, they're away. walking in or hours. Right, right, exactly. Or else they're dead. They're going to get eaten by something They have else. instincts, but not ones that will preserve them to the point where you could leave them. Right, like, yeah, they can't a even baby, lift their you head have for to, a while, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, but what if that wasn't always the case? You know, what if what if that maybe is remnants from the age of when, you know, Homo sapiens or, you know, the another something that was a predecessor was more able to just handle itself 
um, from a younger age. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's just maybe, you know, top it's of my head. a theory. This is such a crazy and cool subject because I agree. we can, well, we see wow. it like it's there. It's like, what? And again, we, we can believe there's cr cradle headboarding, but what leads them to do it? Like who woke up one morning and goes, Hey, right. I've got a few extra kids. <laughs> Let's take one. Let's take our next one. <laughs> And Garrett, like I'm looking at boards, you. Two boards on it's <laughs> an extra one. And see what happens. And if it dies, I've got six kids, and I'm a hunter gatherer. I got shit, you know. Yeah. Just one one less kid to feed. Uh. So yeah, I don't know. Like, where does it come from? Where does ayahuasca come from? Where, like, you know, terra preta. Where does it come from? That's a science. These are things that had to be deduced, put together, figured out. Uh. And. And you know what? I could even imagine it's guys in loincloths, but it's really smart ones who are more in turn tune with earth. And it was just a, it, it's, it was just a mindset that we can't even conceive. I, I, that's what Graham and Randall have talked about a lot is like the, the mindset of the ancient wasn't dumb. They, they might've been smart, much smarter than us, much more, but for, you know, I'm going to use the hitchhiker thing, right? Uh, man, thought they were smarter than dolphins because they invented things like, you know, football, cheeseburgers in New York City. And dolphins thought they were smarter than us for precisely the same reasons, because we <laughs> invented cities and hamburgers and shit like that. So uh, maybe that's the case, you know, uh, and I think it's certainly worth looking into. And the problem is nobody will except for amateurs. And that's the future. That, that's that's where this whole this paradigm shift that we're talking about about institutions are being broken up whether they like it or not they hate it they're fighting yeah. back but bye they're being broken up good fucking riddance bye bye they were able bye -bye. to buy four years by controlling the information we never talked to each other we were separated by seas by borders by all this stuff but now not so much not anymore oh no. no. look at us the age of the the superstar is over not saying it's happening in our lifetime, but uh, we're on two different started. continents, three different countries right mm -hmm, now. True. And that's just on screen, not counting you guys in the chat. Like true. we're connected more than these con these these institutions could have ever thought of. And they're desperate me, to keep it. If you told me 25 years ago, this is what I'd be doing. I call <laughs> no, that no fucking insane. No way. Me too. Yeah. yeah no me. way. So I, yeah. I'll, I'll never forget when I, I I got out of prison, right? Because when I went in, there essentially was no internet. So I went in at, you know, 89, 90, and I got out in 93. So when I went in, there was no fucking internet. Like, sure, people had it, but like none of my friends had it. It's it was like a university. No, no one had it. No one had it. By the it. time it, I got it. out, I, I, one of the, the first day I got out, I went and visited my buddy. His name was Adam, incidentally, Adam Grimm, nice. good guy. Um, and he was playing this game called Mist. I'm like, ooh, miss. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? I felt like I just like, saw a spaceship. I'm like, what is that? It's like He's three all, dimensionals. It's like a game yeah. on a computer. I'm like, what? The last computer I saw was like dot matrix fucking green shit. And I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck? And it and it's not anything I heard anything about on TV. It wasn't like in TV or anything. So I didn't hear about it in prison or the internet. I just get out and there's a thing called the internet. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, this changes everything. Like, we can talk to each other. We can look up porn. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's go. Well, hey, you know what, take us a while. what? When I got my computer, I didn't get my computer for like a couple of years. The first thing I looked up on the internet was a geek thing. It was absolutely a geek thing. It was I was looking for any site that had anything to do with the fifth element. I just watched the fifth element. I thought it was the greatest fucking nice. thing I've ever seen. And I'm uh, like, is there any websites movie. on this? Amazing. And uh, there was. There Speaking was. of internet and porn, that was the first time I ever saw it because I was looking up. I went xmen.com and it was a porn site. Oh, it wasn't oh men. My God. It was ladies, luckily. <laughs> hey. But uh, I was just trying That's to look up funny. some Wolverine pictures for the background. Some Wolverine. Like, there you go. Make some. Uh -huh. you know. <laughs> That's funny. I got something else. I played Neopets. <laughs> The fifth I played. I played Mist. I remember when Mist came out. And I was a, I I was a freaking Mist, yeah. kid, was and dope. I had no idea. I think I was ten, and I I never beat it. I could never figure it out. It was so frustrating. I had no idea what I was. It doing. looked amazing though. It, like it was. It did. True. For what I mean, it was. because 
Because when you go in, I mean, you get to see TV and stuff like that. But when you go in, basically life for you stops as far as culturally, right? It just stops. You don't wear clothes. You don't, you, you wear clothes, but you wear prison clothes and shit like that. But you don't wear clothes. So culturally it stops and you get out. That's why the, it's always a joke in the movies. A guy's wearing his like 70s clothes when he gets out in the 80s or something like that. And he's got like a leisure suit and he looks out of place. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. That's why, you know. It's not as bad, but in Tulsa King, you know, he spent 25 years and he's going in and he sees like, some, you know, guys using uh, virtu- VR and he's like laughing at it. That's how I felt. It was fucking bizarre, man. Because you didn't think that, I'm like, I wasn't gone that long. The world didn't change that much. And it's like, oh, it did. It completely changed. Wow. I don't know how I got on that tangent, but. Uh, That's kind of like AI now. Imagine if you went yeah. in before AI and then after the emergence of AI now. And you're like, what are all these images? And why are people so mad about it? Oh, look, Michelle Obama finally released her pregnancy pictures. Oh, who knew? Sorry. (laughs) Totally believe every single photo. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not Photoshopped at all. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, she's got six fingers. Weird. Huh. Have you noticed that they've started to figure out fingers? AI it's only a matter of time. Are, the fingers are starting to look more oh, natural. Oh, speaking of fingers, um, did you see the uh, uh, one of the giant specials I watched? So there's <laughs> oh, okay. a, a lot of the, the the fingers from giants. You know, it's 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 believed to be. I'm going back to the show. Yeah. X-ray Six girl. fingers. Yeah. Get, yep. get your mind out of the gutter. Okay. Fingers uh, from giants. Got it. That was the second thing he looked up on the internet. Sorry. Uh, but no. did you? The, in is it South giant America? Giant fingers. Chat. chat. <laughs> Gary got fingered. I did. Um, so, <laughs> no, actually. I Gary, would um, you like some sausage? Is that after you were asked about your hair? No, no. I cut my hair after that immediately. Oh I tried God. to make myself as unattractive as possible. Okay. Because I was a handsome little devil when I walked in. Still, there, that so. big woman still wanted you, though. <laughs> Couldn't recognize me. I fucked up my hair. Uh, so where was I? Oh yeah, there Giant it's fingers. in South America. There is a there is a part of South America where there's a bunch of people with six digits, like it's oh, genetic. Weird. It's weird. genetic. Mm. It was in the Giant special, but I can't remember where it was. It was either in Dan Vasque land, you know, Brazil, where uh, Brazil. Pack, packs of children mug you daily, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and Dan Vasque has to always you know ransom a family member from uh, getting kidnapped. Um, wow. it's a great country he lives in. I'm just kidding. Anybody who lives in Brazil is going to be mad at me. I worked in a call center that worked with a bunch of Brazilians and, uh, one of the, one of the Brazilians got a call and there was a Puma loose inside of the movie theater. So they had to shut down the movie theater because <laughs> there was a freaking big ass cat Puma. A running Puma. around the freaking movie theater. So yeah, Brazil's wow. crazy. I love Brazil. I'd like to visit wow. someday. Pumas are cool. Every Brazilian I've met has been pretty cool yeah. in life. I remember my my cleats were Puma for for soccer. I used to have Puma cleats. Remember? Oh, that's a good brand. I like their yeah. shoes. They're yeah. cute. That's what I, I would, really like. I really I like Brazil because it's like on the edge of man. wild. You know, it's like it's like civilized but also wild at the same time. A lot of crossover. It's kind of cool. Dan Vasque like made some video gloating to the, Is that what he's doing? Is that what? Is that what? Yeah, we're it's on Twitter. Through? I didn't actually watch. Is that what it that yet. is? Is yeah. that what that was? I think did he hit so. a? Did he hit a million subs? He hit nine hundred k. Did he hit a million? No. No. Okay. Nine hundred thousand. Uh, cool. I don't know why you're there. gloating now. Thanks, chat. Yeah. You're just lighting a fire well, in Gary's butt. <laughs> I'm. I'm just taking a look at our numbers, and they're going up pretty fast right now. Just, I usually don't, because counting subs is gay. All right, but I got in a stupid fucking bet. I'm looking at the picture of the tribe with six fingers. It's can you show the picture? Oh wait, uh, yeah, it's like some weird genetic thing where they got six fingers. Tribe here. Let me see if I can find like a good picture of all these people. I'm just looking at an article. Where are they located? Uh, Just curious. I feel like if if the elongated skulls had six fingers normally, he would have Ecuador? definitely talked about it. Ecuador? Uh, he, he would Rust have talked about it. to hit 885. Okay, we're like 20 minutes away from 885. Just kidding. Not kidding. Okay, so this is just a couple Shit's pictures here. And because I love x-rays so much, <laughs> he 
you can see here. So this is the extra digit. That'd be kind of cool to have an extra digit. This is a real, real X-ray. Like you'd be bad. really good at bass. You can play the oh, six string yeah. bass. Yeah. Fuck. Look at, yeah. look at him, this dude here. Like I can't play dude, the get five guitars string. in those guys' hands. I can't play the five string and the six string because of my busted hand. Like I just can't. Like impossible. Weird. Weird. And toes. And toes. And toes. Yeah. You probably have better balance with six toes like that. Oh yeah. Probably play piano pretty Is well it? too. I mean, didn't you balance come from the big toe? That looks freaking. I thought rat. it came from the little toe. Yeah. Probably yeah, and they don't look deformed. They look well, no. that one does a little bit, but that one that in the middle, weird. like at the top, it, it yeah, looks like the, it actually kind of goes look, with his hand. Looks natural. I wouldn't have noticed like right away unless someone told me. Can they control mm -hmm. them like a finger? Yes, looks yes, like it. absolutely. They're totally normal. Oh. And uh, crap, dude, these people are got extra shit. That giant's man. fake. That's, that's a fake that's picture. Awesome. Oh, okay, that's a fake picture too. Uh, the 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 pictures that are real are the ones that are taken with that guy at, at Catalina Island, and yeah, there's images of of there there's um walls with six finger like the hands go, you know, and it's six fingers, all over the place, so yeah, crazy. That's pretty cool. crazy. Uh, you like typing on a keyboard even better. Oh hell yeah! Uh, extra. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, have a just finger for my... on the tab, caps shift, and the enter uh, shift. So I don't use my other fingers to type anyway. I use these. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you type. So... I've, seen, true, you type yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I I I'm fast with these things, but that I only use these. So. <laughs> X-ray <-Girls face. laughs> Ladies, I know why, you're impressed. Why do you always go there with that X-ray? <laughs> <Pretty fast. laughs> I know, man. She, her mind's in the gut. I'm telling you, she's the dirtiest one here. She comes off like, oh, yeah. I'm such an innocent little Canadian Asian girl. She's a freaking lush. She she parties harder she than Chris Gore. Okay, <laughs> which is true. Pretty this hard. Is true. And you should see her when she gets a couple few drinks in her. She's I have. have. Her yeah. meetup. She was sloshed. And my eyes easily the like most this sloshed the entire time. Yeah, you can't tell. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's her secret weapon. <laughs> I look like the snow. Someone was like, "You look like Snorlax every time you laugh." <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> there it really is. Nice. There it is. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> see, look. Where, where's hashtag twinning? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice him behind you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, we'll be in Wisconsin next week. Oh yeah, Couple next days. week. That's right. I'm leaving day after tomorrow, so yeah, it should be fun. Uh, let's get to some soups, shall we? Sounds good. Yeah. Soupies. That was a fun show, though. You guys can stay. Yeah. No, no need to go any anywhere, people, because we're gonna do the soups. Uh, yeah. Bump, bump, bump. Bye bye. I Did we check with the? Oh, we checked with them. Okay, I was like, "What are we checking with?" Y files. Oh yeah, I messed. Oh yeah, yeah. It, here's the, here's how it's gonna go, because this is how it goes with me too, and, and other people. We're gonna talk for about a year, back and forth, and then finally get a show going. Because that's how long it took with Jimmy, you know. <laughs> so really? it happens. Yeah, okay. busy people. We get busy lots people, going on. and like it, we get something going on, and then channel. like I take and Y files is a huge channel. That yeah. takes a ton of fuck. The shit they produce, that nonstop, nonstop non too, dude, mm. is to consistently knock out bangers <sighs> so all the Banger. fucking time. You have to have the best people, the best editors. He's a and you, your work ethic is fucking insane. So nothing yeah. but respect. For Their the production Wattax. is really high. It's really good. Really high. It's really good. Yeah. It's It'll happen when it channel. happens. Yep. Uh, WG has gifted five neurotic live memberships for $25. Thank you, WG. Bless your heart, brother. WG. Thank WG. You. WG's the man. Yeah. I agree. WG's the man. Mm -hmm. Um, uh oh, Zorbu's here. Zorbu on the Streamlab side for $50. Dang. I had my very own UFO experience this morning. I walked into the ship's galley and said to the missus, Morning, fat ass. Next thing, <laughs> there were flying saucers coming at me from everywhere. <laughs> uh, nice. It seems just like yesterday when our crew met Quarter Earthling. 
I wasn't sure if he would be afraid of what, uh, uh, afraid or what, but then he joked, are you a friend or are you a foe? I was like, ah, I see what you did there. Too funny. Anyway, he still got probed. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Vapor Trails for 1999. Love the show. Also FNT and an OG Soy Jesus fan. You can't you. talk about the stuff. Soy Jesus. <laughs> Soy so Jesus. funny. It's so funny. Um, <laughs> uh, you can't talk about the stuff Hancock, Carlson, et cetera, talk about and ignore the Bible. Regardless of what you believe, it is the biggest source of it all. Can't be excluded. Well, hist for historical references, it's been proven right quite a bit recently like i'd say within the last couple hundred years a lot of stuff in the bible they said didn't didn't exist turns out it existed sodom and gomorrah uh walls of jericho you know all kinds of stuff so uh or agree another name two parts for twenty dollars hey gary you started to read my super chat on fnt but actually uh but never actually made it past the name before getting sidetracked talking about movie blob Oh, well, uh, I'll read it on a square. Shame. I'll read it. On, sorry about that. that. That's not unusual, but I do apologize. I'm easily sidetracked, especially with my freaking idiot friends uh, who I love dearly. I love dearly, but we are a gaggle of morons. Okay, we just are. We're a flock of morons. <laughs> Arg, another name for $9.99. I pointed out that watching the Marvels was like standing too close to an exploding toilet. You get turd, turd debris burns. <laughs> turd debris burn. <laughs> that was a superb dad joke there. Superb. I liked um, it. The the really well done. The best part about the Marvels that I can now enjoy because I've done my video, I can go watch everybody's videos, which I cannot. That's what I'm I'm get I'm literally going to make popcorn, get in my theater and watch Critical Drinkers down to dr uh, from Critical Drinker to Drunk 3PO to Geeks and Gamers uh, and Ryan's. They probably done 10 each in the last 72 hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I mean, thankfully yeah, they're all three minutes long. Timeline. Yeah, I know. Right. You know what? I, I I subscribe to Campia. I do. I subscribe to a lot of people, but I like to keep an eye on people too. I fucking hate after he does a live stream, he drops all his videos at once. And the guy like, dude, if you if you want your channel to grow, don't fucking do that. That is the single worst thing Schedule. you can do. You you gotta space them out by two hours minimum. If you drop yeah. them all at once, your algorithm is gonna go nowhere. Never do it that. As when he dropped. On yeah, April destroy 1st. his channel for a bit. <laughs> it took him a year to recover. From, it would have been shorter, but as you know, likes to stream for seven hours and on video games. By the way, that motherfucker made it to Return to Moria before I did. He so did. He that did. That looks so, like a fun game. It actually, I was watching him play yeah. earlier. I, I, I want to buy it now. Kind of sweet. It's multiplayer, right? It is yeah, a I multiplayer game. Eight. Is it up to yeah. eight players? So as an I, I, eight players. As and I are going to play. Feet, yeah. I'm going to try to talk him to like in the oh, within shit. the next week. As and I, maybe you guys can join in. You know. Oh, oh I'm there. I'm down. Let's do, it. do it. Like, Let's do it. Yeah. 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 Sure. Let's do it. Let's. I like it. We can't do a Sunday fun day because I have a commitment, but we can do another day where I can play for sure. Yeah. Right. Let's do it. Josh Kelsey has come in, dropped twenty dollars, walked away because that's what Josh does. <laughs> Thanks, His Josh. name should be Chad Kelsey. Oh. Chad. 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 He knows he's a Chad. Thank you, Josh. We appreciate you. We appreciate your support, as always. As everybody, we, we appreciate anybody who lifts, leaves a super chat or is just here, leaving a like, yeah. lurking. True. Thank you. Sub to the channel. We're trying to get to 100K, by the trying way. Trying to yeah. get to 100K over here. And share um, our videos. Unlocking new things. Share our streams. Yeah, that really helps. You know, I heard watch another video that we put out. That's almost just as good as subscribing. Yes, really? I'll do both. Yeah. You could do both. Mm. We appreciate well, the, the idea. You can, I know the achievement we're gonna oh, unlock with this channel when it hits a hundred thousand is it turns into the Forbidden Frontier channel. Nerdrotic uh, Nooners will go over to the daily and we'll start doing videos on Double this up. subject matter. Mm. We, we go on okay. adventures. Who knows where we'll end and up? We're going to go on adventures. I like that a lot. I'm very excited about that. Uh, you know who else is excited, Adam? Mrs. Nerdrotic, believe it or not. She's like, wait a minute. You, you're you going to start a trip? We're going to travel? I'm all, yeah. Yeah. 
Now she's Hell down. Yeah. Now she's totally down with everything. That. You know, it's funny and watching. She's her fucking evolution. rad too. So yeah, this is gonna oh, be fun. I love her. She's cool. Her evolution really to cool. accepting this channel was pretty funny because for the first few years, she's like, "It's this dumb little thing he does. It's you know, <laughs> but, it keep, but it keeps him happy. So I'm gonna fully support him." And she did. Believe me, she fully like she was especially that first year when I said I'm quit my job. She's like, "Okay," um, uh, but uh, now she's like. She runs this. She runs this motherfucking thing. She, she does runs the finances and everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. this is neurotic. Awesome. Can I just awesome leak lady. a DM? Facts. Yeah. Because uh, she just said here after the tweet of Dan Vask, I hit 900k. I better order that wig. I oh see. shit! Dude, the call is coming <laughs> from inside the house. She's not even on house. your side. <laughs> the Dude. calls from inside the house All right. again. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm just, I, I don't flex, okay? Flexing is <laughs> fucking gay, and uh, I don't do it, except in this case. So <laughs> when when we started this live stream, I was at 883,000 subscribers. We are at 884,876, and it's climbing Ooh. like crazy. And I just released a video four hours ago. So enjoy it, Dan. Enjoy it while it lasts. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you for subscribing to Nerdrotic. I appreciate it. Uh, da, 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 da. Where was I? JT. JT for $20. And yeah, that's my brother in law's name. Uh, could the elongated, uh, the elongation of the skull facilitate over development of a specific part of the brain? That's a good question. That is a good question. Does, mm -hmm. I mean, does it actually? not? other forms of consciousness like uh, you know uh, mm. or or extra form of it's a very good question like making extra room for the parietal per, uh, parietal lobe mm. to get bigger than normal thereby increasing sensory perception hmm. good I question and that's something that uh they get into a little bit but um you would think so if your brain is bigger and other parts of your brain are bigger then maybe they mm. work better uh, maybe that's yeah, just something. maybe it's not fashion at all. Maybe it's to make room. Well, it maybe, just makes I don't me think it can increase your volume though of your brain. Maybe no, if the, you're but how much more rice was in the in the skull? You know, a lot this makes more. me th think back to what when it's they like your, built Amarna when they were around. looking at Amarna. Uh, one of the things that these ancient Egyptians worshipped was the pineal gland. Right? Yes. They believed that there was there was some sacred knowledge in there. What if the brain was the same size? But the pineal gland was significantly larger. Like everything else was the same, but the pineal, pineal gland, gland was massive. Produces and they had like some DMG. dimethyl tryptamine. Yeah. I wish we could drug. see the brains. It would be mm. so cool to be able to look at a brain of one, but there likely will never long, be long a preserved one ever. No. Unless you I'm find some kind of jar, maybe some or like, tribe super of them jar. that still exist. Who knows? That to you. Small that would hope. Be cool. That would be or cool. Or somebody has an extra kid. No. I'll be right back. I'm gonna start yeah. on my science. <laughs> start on your science project. Get over here, kid. <laughs> start on your science project. Yeah, th that's something to think about because that might be another reason for it. Just think about think about an intel a species that's just as intelligent as us, and has been for. 100,000 years, 200,000 years, 300,000 years. So just like us, no fucking different, 300,000 years ago, not distracted by a bunch of technology and has time to think uh, and, and figure things out. And maybe they figure things out differently. You know, they, again, have a lot of extra time because they're not distracted by technology. Um, maybe, maybe. Hey, gang, I wanted to throw a few pesos your way for a brilliant show. I backpacked Egypt years ago and have a papyrus on my wall of Akhenaten, Lord of the Sun, with the elongated style. Thank you. I was always curious. Cheers. Rob Carlton, thank you for the 20 Canadian pesos. We appreciate it. I can't wait to go to Egypt and get a papyrus. Yeah, me too. Buy shit. I Even if it's too. touristy crap, I'll buy that. I don't know. Shit. Mm -hmm. I like I touristy. I'll buy touristy crap all day. There's a reason it's, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's still popular. True. I'm st I'm kind of sad I didn't get a bath shirt though. You should. I'm, I'm jealous of your Dude, bath shirt. Dude, I I am too. 
I, you know, I didn't I know some, Graham was some from grease that. on you. You know what I'm really sad about is I got yeah. we went to Clarkson's farm and we got the 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 chutney and the and like Mo, uh, Melissa who's going to say that I left it left it in the UK I'm like fuck. Oh, uh, I left all my chips in the UK. I did. I ate them. All I brought yeah. your snack, and I snack bag. Yeah. It was Damn. So sad. I should have grabbed more. <laughs> I should have <laughs> stolen more. Well, she she hooked. No, no, she hooked me up personally. I asked her if I can have you. You gave me some, like those yeah. coconut nibs or whatever. A bunch of dude, they were delicious. A lot of good snacks. You left them. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. Uh, uh, going to Clarkson's Farm and going to the shop is absolutely worth it because some of the stuff the there's actually is like so legit good. good. It's like really? oh legit God. good. Yeah. Nice. nice. We had um, honey whiskey or something like that, honey rum, Ooh. and that was really good too. Wait, mm -hmm. honey rum or honey whiskey? I don't remember difference. what it was. Uh, She's all, it's, it's alcohol, and I got drunk on it. It's all the same to me. Whiskey. <laughs> Wish I went. Smoo the DJ. Smoo. The Modrotic has gifted five Nerdrotic Live memberships for $25. Smoo, you did not have to do that. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Smoo. Okay. Love you, man. Yeah, well. Eric Allen for $20 says, The pics covering it up made me think if traditional head garbs like fur hats in Russia, Jewish communities, and turbans may be covering for survival. So hats to cover the, the elongated head. Mm -hmm. Because they were hunted, right? Because they were Ooh, being killed That is off. interesting. Right. Maybe maybe there was a time it was fashionable and then it became dangerous. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. mm. it, well, it's supposedly a royal bloodline, but you know, from from the people who came before the Kemet. Uh, Crypto Kemp for ten dollars mm. says, "Didn't Brian say that the DNA of the Paraka skulls shows hoplo groups from the Black Sea region?" Yes, he did yes. say that. Mm -hmm. Very close. Very close to Gobekli Tepe. Mm. Yeah, it was very true. And the other Tepes. They show no skull searchers. They are not from deformation. And you are correct. You are correct, Crypto Kev. That's exactly what he said. Um, again, uh, he shows the evidence. He shows the process of it going through D DNA. And the fact that that, it, that came back like that is crazy. Is crazy. Um, Silver Space, $10. Hail all strange and weird. Call the nerd with a massive beard, quarter black and Krigler to see Forbidden Frontiers with you and me. <laughs> Emmanuel Roy is gifted 10 Australian dollars. Has nothing to say. Just drops it. Like Josh. Another Chad. Neil, another Chad. Love Neil you. Horn for $10. Hail everyone. Great show. And you're right. The opening never gets old. It's so good. Maybe it'll get you to 900,000 subscribers, Gary, just like Dan Vask. You know what? Did he get to a million? Talk to me when he gets to a million. <laughs> I, I can care less. The fat lady ain't singing. All right. Let's just say. The reason he dropped it, because he's a little nervous, because I dropped my Marvel's review today which is kind of a big deal on the channel it's kind of something we've been building up to for like four years right so maybe he's a little nervous he should be i mean he should be more nervous that he lives in a country where he can't walk down to the market without getting mugged by 50 kids i think that's what he should worry about a little more than me but whatever is the MCO over then is that it the, for the for the that universe um, line i mean essentially the finale God no. There, there's there there's <laughs> God, holdovers. No, it's still going, man. <laughs> there's holdovers. There's Echo. There's Ironheart. There's Agatha. Oh, okay. as far a lot of TV as, shows next year. They're gonna make the young as, Avengers. It's gonna be all girls. It's gonna. But oh, as God. far as movies go, yeah. Probably. There's only Deadpool that's wow. coming out next year. Right? Uh, okay. Financially, it's gonna hurt them so bad that they're gonna be like, let's rein it in. Oh, they're gonna have to like. I don't give. Have a, to. You know what? Make the all female Young Avengers TV show. Please fucking make it, please. please. <laughs> well, what about uh, Robert Downey Jr.? Aren't they? Okay. Didn't he confirm to come back or something? No, or? no. He, 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 they were on, that was a rumor. It's a rumor. They were on strike. They couldn't. They couldn't negotiate at all. They can right. negotiate now, and I'm sure they are. Uh, no, but okay. we we heard last summer that they knew this was going to be shit, and they're just trying to get past this, and they're going to try to fix it. Now, what's their version of trying to fix it? Is it, well, we'll try to make a better Black Falcon Captain America movie, which is great. You should just call it Falcon, though, because that's what he is. Right. Uh, nobody's going to buy him as Captain America. They're making a Captain America movie without Captain America. It's That's as dumb as making a Spider-Man game with two Spider-Man in it. 
That's per- that sounds pretty dumb. That's pretty or eventually no dumb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man. Excuse me. There's only one Spider-Man, and then there's Peter also Parker. Miles Morales. There's Miles Morales. Give Miles Morales a different superhero name. It solves all the problems. It solves yeah, all the that. problems. It does. It does. But uh, it's a yeah, shame because you know I'm gonna do my I own thing. The mo- like the intro movie was cool. I liked. I liked it. Into the Spider Verse is that the first? That one? was a good That's movie. That's not the yeah. intro to Miles. The first oh, well, one, first me, one before for me. That. For me, yeah. Yeah. yeah well, for me yeah. The movie. The movies for were like probably a lot on, of people. The movies Wait. is about Miles not needing Spider Man, but the movies are filled with Spider Men. It's and true. they keep increasing in number. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like way point. more Spider-Man I in this movie. I only saw the first one, so I haven't seen any other Miles Morales. Um, the animation is fucking great. It's, it's great. great. It's really um, great. Yeah. I even like the second movie, but where they're going, I'm going to hate the third one. Probably. But we might not see it for a while, so it's all good. Uh, Bigfoot on the Streamlab side for $25. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Where do Bigfoot deniers sleep? In debunk bed, get it? <laughs> because debunk, right okay? Jeez, nice. tough crowd. <laughs> I'll have to see myself out. <laughs> Thanks, Bigfoot. <laughs> Laszlo, the investigator for ten dollars, says the Paracas, uh, what is this candela- candelabra in Peru? Is that did I say that right? Uh, was dated to two hundred BC. History is older than we can fathom. Y- yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, we I think most of our that, dating is. I think our most of our dating is fucking wrong. Like, oh yeah, like ridiculously wrong. Uh, Saxe woman, for example, twenty thousand years old. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Uh, yeah. uh, anything m- megalithic and polygonal. I think add five ten thousand years, easy, probably more. Uh, fully problematic for ten dollars. Red hair, twelve fingers and twelve toes, double rows of teeth, eight feet or taller. Definitely not Nephilim. Frank Drebin says nothing to see here. The Nephilim, what the Nephilim le- uh, legend is not unlike the flood legend. There are legends of giants in every culture. It comes from somewhere. So whether we, uh, I think the Bible is somewhat historical. I don't mean any disrespect. Any Christians are out there somewhat mythological, but I think there are some truths. Well, you know, there's some moral truths. A lot of allegory in it. A lot of a lot of allegory, but there's a lot of moral truths that we should all follow. Um, And there's also some historical accuracy, too. And and there might be more as time goes on. You know. Seems to be the case. That's the thing with uh, bigotry, man. Like real bigotry. Like it still exists. It's it's put on a new label it's put on a new face and now it's okay to be a complete fucking bigot to christians like look at atheists look at how they act now uh we're talking about like everyday christians um who don't you know hit you over the head with their religion or anything they just live live life but they they they're still they are now discriminated against you're you're considered less than you're considered stupid by these humans who don't believe in anything and think, well, they're smarter than you. And, you know, if you're, if you're an atheist, that's fine too. I don't care. But that's like, you know, I've always felt like atheist atheists. That's like running around going, I hate pizza. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> cool. You know, uh, specter wolf for $10. Uh, there are always people who think themselves smarter than others and who will omit, destroy, or just hide proof that their truth is wrong. Some people will do anything to keep their worldview safe. Exactly. And you know what? A lot of facts and a lot of academics, their entire identity is wrapped up in their piece of paper and, and their, their academic career. Like that's their entire fucking identity. I I'm completely fine waking up in the morning going, you know, I don't know shit. Uh, You know, I could be wrong about anything. I, I, I love to learn and I don't need to be the smartest motherfucker in the room. And I'm not <laughs> anywhere I go. So, and I'm fine with it. But there are, especially on YouTube with some content creators, man, there are some people who just think they are really fucking smart. Just ask yeah. them. Just ask them. Do, 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 do. Ginger, where, where are we looking at time? Sorry, guys. We're at two hours. Uh, right at the two hour mark now. All right, we'll do it's a couple more. <laughs> do a couple more and then we'll get out of here so Adam can go to Betty Bye. I'm going to blame Adam, but I actually need to go do some stuff too. 
Uh, Ginger Adventure for $2. Kingdom of the Elongated Skull. R.I.P. Andy. Oh. The Crystal Skull could have been a great concept for a great movie yep. if they just didn't do the UFO shit. Okay, that was stupid. Agreed. Uh, they should have done it. Jumping the shark. They've had two Dude, opportunities Atlantis. to do Atlantis, which is way more Indiana Jones. That was, than, that, that uh, was the video game. The video was game, game was, yeah. was, they should have just gone with that. They just do what that. System was that on? What system was that on? Super Nintendo? Uh, Maybe Nintendo? I thought it was. Or was it a Game Boy game? I thought it was I later. I, I thought it was Nintendo. like PlayStation. I thought it was Super Nintendo. No? I got to find What was the one that was chat. on PlayStation? I it was see. PC? Indiana. Is it PC? Is there a place to play it? Uh, was it not a console? You can console? play it on Steam it was now. NES? You can? Infernal Machine. Yeah, you can it play it on, on Steam right the now. Of wow. Atlantis on Steam. What? So. what? Oh, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> a bunch of us. We should do. We, we we're going to make a game out of you. Yet. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. I'm opening Update Steam, of course. I've got all kinds of game systems now. Sean from Think Before You Sleep, God bless him. He's a great guy. Um, oh, that's a great yeah. gift. Dude, gave me hey, the guys, best gift ever. Stuff. He gave me a like completely modded out fucking Nintendo system that hooks right up to my TV. Everything fucking works. Like He gave me a stack of fucking games. It's amazing. So oh, the best gifts I've ever got. Awesome. Love Sean. There it is. It's that's $6. Cool. It's $6. Oh, that's so I'd pay 12 You can get five... All oh, no, all three of those. The other two are Lego Indiana Jones. They're not the same. Uh, yeah, six bucks for each game. Oh shit! Three oh. games, dude. Cool. That's fucking rad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one of those elongated heads was DNA tested on ancient aliens, and it came back as Scottish and British Atlantis survivors spreading knowledge worldwide. Uh, says General Sod. Racist. Gen General Sod. That is so good. General Sod. <laughs> you know what Sod is, right? It's yeah, like, like grass. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like General Sod. Gut. It, that's fucking great. Instead of General Zod. For five British pounds. It's clever. It's clever. Uh, Just a square of grass floating in space. General Sod. You will kneel before Sod. I'm stuck <laughs> in the Sod. No. Uh, crit Nature. On the Streamlabs side for five dollars. Hey Gary, did you see the last stream with Randall Carlson? His guest talked about foreign hieroglyphics he saw on a non-public chamber where which shows beings and a gate. Looks like Stargate in real life. The show, not that crappy movie, might be a thing, but without pictures, I'm skeptical. Yeah, without pictures, I'm very skeptical. Always snap a fucking pic, dude. It's the modern age. You can sneak all kinds of shit. Yeah. They got the post credit scene for the Marvels out before the movie was even fucking released. Okay? Uh, tricky for $5. It's the Beanie Brigade. Hail. Yes, it's Beanie Hail. time. Yes. It is the Beanie Day. And Andrew Matthews. Uh, we'll do two more. Andrew Matthews for $2. The Egyptians had great ghetto head. For two <laughs> British pounds. Okay. Ghetto head. Uh, e eaten ass for $2. Elongated skulls look like squids. Squids are alien. Oh. Dude, squids are crazy smart. I'm still going to eat them, but they're really smart. Squids are oct yeah. octo I don't know if squids they can are. Get, I know uh, squid, no, octopus. Octopus. Octopus, octopus yeah. can are, get out of the jar. Octopus are really are, smart. Well, are really smart. Yeah, they are. Really See, cool. They're smarter than me. Well, I don't even I mean, know. I mean, is, is that difficult? Valkyrie winner for $2 million. Dollars. Hale, you're making me want to watch SG-1 again. One nine nine. Uh, start the, the show is pretty good. I'm getting into it. I'm slowly getting into it. Savage Cashew for $5. Way off topic, but the subtle use of Pink Floyd in Gary's last video was tasty from one boomer to another. Mm. Nicely done, quarter black, Garrett. There you go. All right. I also used It's a Man's World by James uh, Brown. I, I know. That was fucking great. That was fucking great. Okay, we'll get the rest of the square up. Uh, if you missed last week's square up, it's on this channel. You can jump over and watch it, and I start with the Forbidden Frontier questions, okay? So I start with those. Mm -hmm. uh, next one will be from the road. I'll be somewhere in between here and Wisconsin doing it from a hotel room. So that's the next one. Maybe playing Indiana Jones while I do it. <laughs> cool. It's between and that or Moria, who knows? Oh, yeah. Moria is going to have to be like a commitment because I'm going to have a bunch of people with me, so I've got to like pretend I know how to play a video True. game. 
<laughs> all right, we'll guys. Uh, all but right. thanks to everybody who left. Again, there will, within the next two or three days, there'll be a square up, and I will start with the Forbidden Frontier questions. Uh, but thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Let's get out of here. Garrett, what you got coming up besides sleep? Uh, sleep. And uh, tomorrow, Bay Staff Monday on Adam Krigler's channel with all the great people that we do that show with. And uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Normal World on our channel on YouTube. You can subscribe there or you can subscribe through Blaze. Either way, uh, I'm just glad you're watching. So right. we've had, we had a, a really good week, I think, this last week. It was really fun. Felt really, <laughs> yes. you know, we got shows. into it. Uh, yeah. We got really wild. And it was fun. So come watch the show. Thank you. Maybe someday you'll invite me back. I don't know. Feel like hey, I'm you're invited anytime you want to be. Dish. Are you driving past me going up to? Oh, maybe. maybe. I think okay. so. I'll check. I'll check. Time. I just don't want to bother you. I know you're a busy man. I'm I don't know what be... next week's topic is. Do we know? Nope. What we're doing you never week? know until like today or. Yeah. Well, why don't you? Why don't you think about it and pick one? You can pick one. I mean, you know, I'm wanting to talk about. The... Got that list. I have Canyon. a list. Hyrule Let's list, talk about but... the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Okay, okay Grand, let's do Grand it. Canyon, we can we can talk okay. about Grand Canyon, get deeper into Lovelock, and uh yeah, we can get into that stuff. That'd be great. All Very down. much down for Does that. Does that sound cool, chat? You like that idea? I do. We'll find a good documentary on it and stuff. Uh talk to Zorbu. You know, you know I ain't talking to Zorbu. Yeah. <laughs> well, that. we're not actually, on speaking terms. All right. In Zorbu. So we are at a year of Forbidden Frontiers. What? Who let Wait. us know in the chat. The Wait, first for real? stream, Ancient Apocalypse, was November 13th, 2022. Holy what? shit. No, so wait, this was like our anniversary no stream no, today? No, no, no. We're going to have to do an anniversary. Next week. Next Let's week. Our anniversary stream. Next, next week, week is our anniversary wow. stream. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't count. Dude, we didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know. We're not keeping track I'll of these things. On that one, Next so. week. Holy shit. Wow. That's kind of dope. That's cool. So excited. So we yeah. should talk about that. That's kind of cool. It's like blown blown past, man. It was really fast. Can't believe it. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's amazing. Wow. Um, that's cool. Thanks for. No, and then noticing. there's the whole like time goes so fast when you're older. It's nuts. It's really fast. Like, yeah. We just started the show. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like we're still in beta. We were like we're getting still, our We're not in beta still. anymore, guys. <laughs> I still feel like I, I'm. we're in beta. I feel like well, my show's in beta. I've been hey, doing hey, it for three years. What did we hear a ton in London when we were all together is we That's fucking true. love Forbidden Frontier. Like, it's true. I heard that a lot from people. It's like, all right. I appreciate you. I'm glad we you do. We I definitely improved it. since the beginning. Like, yeah. Sure. Thing on topic. <laughs> we got into the topic like right at the beginning of the show. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Not like forty-five minutes in. True. We're making progress, guys. We're making yeah. progress. Well, I mean, this show does. I, I'm imagining people watch, like, listen to this a lot. So, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, yep. yeah. Thank Very you. Happy. Cheers, Thank you, guys. you, chat, for being here. <laughs> All right. Um, Adam, what do you got coming up? Yeah, I got my shows Monday through Friday, uh, based off Monday, of course, on Mondays with all the crew, which is awesome. And then Tuesday, Georgia Giants there joins me for Tuesday Titans. Wednesday, I'm on Side Scrollers with Floodzilla, Stuttering Craig, and Blabs. Uh, that's a lot of fun. And then Friday nights, I've been jamming and just doing Friday night jams. I don't even do segments anymore. It's not a normal show. I just hang out and and kind of decompress and, and play some music, have a little bit of whiskey, uh, and, and that's a lot of fun. And then I go over to my locals, and I do a lot of covers, and I people give me song suggestions, and I try to play it on the fly, and uh, it's been a lot of fun, actually, I've been enjoying that. And then Sunday nights, you guys know. Yeah. It's only one place to be. That's, that's right here. Forbidden Front. Hell yeah. Oh, I love this show. You guys are great. Me too. You chat are great. I have so much fun doing this. Uh, X-Ray Girl, when you hit the road... Uh, I am leaving on Wednesday. I'm just trying to finalize some details because I have to stop by the um, Michigan area. Uh, Mark forgot his watch <laughs> when we went to the hospital. <laughs> so we got to pick that up. Oh, but... At least you got it. Yes. Yes. And, uh, unlike my my tablet on British Airways when I landed in London. Or your, Yeah, your oh, phone shit. got lost. Never got in... that back. 
L.A. Wait, the, was it? The, this the flippy thing? That, no, no. That, I, okay, the, that I was Uber. The, I that I left that in the cab and I ran oh. and I caught the cab because wow. this fifty four this fifty four year old ass can still fucking run fast. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, you did lose it. No, I, I did. I I lost That's my phone. That's second phone. Comic-Con. This is my second phone. Oh, I okay. My first one at Comic Con. Almost left this in London, but no, I had the tablet out on the my beautiful British Airways flight Dude. for fucking business class, which was awesome. And I was so oh, enamored with it, I left the damn thing in there. That damn. sucks. That and sucks. It was rough. Oh well. So yeah, you, I'll be on the road on Wednesday, but tomorrow we're going into season three of Doctor Who, myself and Zia, and we're gonna watch Torchwood as well, season one, just to see Martha. what that's about. Yeah, I'm really excited. Martha fucking Jones. And um, I'm gonna watch Ghostbusters after that. So Doctor Who at 6 p.m. Eastern, and Ghostbusters then Ghostbusters two, Ghostbusters right? Two. Yes, the first one I watched, it got blocked by Sony. I'm gonna re-upload it on rumble so just wait for that and uh yeah we got lots of good stuff oh how did it get didn't show anything uh i think the audio there was a little bit of audio which i totally it's understand so retarded. yeah yeah uh valiant renegade is going to be coming on dad cast this week on poor choices so valiant Tuesday, renegade. 9 p.m eastern you know valiant renegade i remember when he used to uh by the way i'm gonna do one this week we're doing a member stream on the big channel um he used to come into my member stream little little valiant he's like i'm gonna be a youtuber well you go kid he's doing Uh, really well he's doing fucking great it's so awesome to see so uh go subscribe to valiant he's he's a great channel he's an actual financial analyst i won't even call him an analyst i was about to say you said that correct it feels weird I'm uh, showing respect. Yeah. I don't do it often. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, don't get used to it, actually. I, I look forward to seeing ex- Exit A Ghoul in, in, in Wisconsin. You're going to be hanging out with the, at our brother, my brother in law's house, right? You're staying? Yeah. You're staying? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That'll be I'm fun. He, JT's cool. You, he's, a, he's a handy dude. All he does is mm. fix shit all fucking day fences, roofs, boats, cars. He's one of those guys. It's great. We, that's why we always invite him down for Christmas so he can work on our house. Fix all the things. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. It's going to be tons of fun. We're going to have a little intimate meetup uh, at uh, at a place in uh, Milwaukee. And, and eat cheese. And eat cheese curds. Curds. You got to have cheese curds. Cheese curds are great. And you have you to have a curds. proper, not, not, not a, uh, what's that, uh, Culver's? Not Culver's. You need a proper Wisconsin butter burger. They're a butter fucking aw- a butter They're burger. They're better than Culver's, man. They're better than Culver's. And then we'll have Ooh. brats. And you got to have brats on the hard roll. The Wisconsin, like the the hard rolls you get there. What that's is the a shit. brats? Oh, and I'm going to a Charger game. Oh, cool. that's fun. I'm going to see him play the Packers. Cool. Taking my son. Nice. That's going to be fun. That'll be really fun. Yeah. Oh, it's a, like a sausage. Okay. Yeah, brat. A brat? Oh, bratwurst. Oh, you never heard what a brat? Oh, a you don't. Bratwurst. You didn't know what it was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know what a bratwurst is. I I I, I googled it's called brat a brat. A, a doll came up. A brat doll. The brat brat dolls. The, the beer. The beer. <laughs> I mean, I'm not uh, obviously not an alcoholic. Google <laughs> is stupid. The beer brats are fucking amazing. It looks They're good. Amazing. It looks good. So good. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> they, know, they know how to eat in Wisconsin. Okay. They really do. Uh, cool. Uh, I just. Uh, we just released a video. It's doing okay. It's doing all right. <laughs> it's just the best performing video in the first four hours we've ever had. Um, uh, by a long shot. Well, I don't know. Maybe not the... No. No, it's still doing better than the the one that went crazy at the end of last year. But it's still do be- like it's. Do- we'll see how it goes. We got the fireworks, Garrett. We got the yeah. fireworks. And it's like... It's all worth it. <laughs> it's like way ahead of the last number, so... Yeah, it's uh, good. Thanks, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I, I hope you liked it. You're welcome. You, I worked hard on it. Thanks, appreciate it. Maybe X-ray girl will watch the rest of it later. I will. Yeah, I was trying to get like, us with your time for you. Yeah, yeah. Like was, Garrett, was... literally quarter slaved over this video. I was back here just <laughs> quarter. <laughs> quarter slaved over this video till six Split in the my morning. Table almost yeah. my freaking yeah. premiere. Yeah, yeah. You, di- you didn't have to finish it today, bro. So I really appreciate it. Uh, see you next week. I'll be in Wisconsin. X-Ray Girl will be in Wisconsin. Are we going to be in the same room? What do you I mean? Gotta... It might be awkward. Oh, for the stream? Yeah. Oh. 
Wait, oh, what? for your FNT, oh, yeah, huh? Oh, no, I'm leaving fr Saturday. You're leaving Saturday. I can, okay. can leave a couple days later, but uh, it's, it's up to you guys. I didn't want to open you. a welcome. You, you, you're welcome the whole time. It's Thanksgiving next week, right? Uh, oh, is it? Uh, next week after No, next. is it? It's the week, oh, no, after. week after. next. Ah, okay. Yeah. But you can like stay as long as you want. I'll just stay for Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. Tell Mark to come down. Tell him to mm. hop on down. <laughs> Up over the border. I'm coming. Hop down the street. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, he got his new leg. He can walk now. Yeah. Well, no, oh, oh, he did? Yeah. Did he? he has it has like a peg on it, like a little like, clip to clip into the foot. So <laughs> I'm like, you have to be careful on all the leather couches now. Yeah, he's gonna rip them. Like... He's gonna yeah. rip them, but he'll look like a fucking pirate. That's yeah. awesome. Well, and he's he's like, oh, if anyone attacks us, I'll just take my leg off and stab them in the carotid with that. I'm like, wow, you went there. <laughs> he needs That's to have like no, he needs some a talent. He needs a gun leg. That's what he needs. Yeah. <laughs> like the girl from Like in Planet uh, Terror. Planet like Terror. Planet yeah. Terror. Yeah. No, Planet Terror. That's it, right? <laughs> Love that movie. Planet Terror is awesome. That's a good movie. Yeah. That mm -hmm. part of it. Don't continue to watch the rest of that movie. The trailers are good, but uh, Quint uh, but um yeah. Death Proof is fucking terrible. Death Proof is trash. Trash, trash, trash. trash, trash. All right, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks to everyone uh, who left Super Chat donation again. The Square Up will be in the next few days. And we'll see you real soon. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier.